Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Spawncast episode 181. Who did we just lose? Oh, we lost click first. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, welcome to Spawncast episode 181. It was quite the busy week, so I will let Sean briefly talk about some random WWE game that he wants to talk about. Real quick. He's got a second channel, Tables, Ladders, and, and, and Sean, so we'll, you know, we'll... We'll at least Jim. roll with him on that and let him talk Jim. about it for a minute. Jim. Sean, how are you doing? I'm good. Good to have you back. Good good. Have you back. Feeling all right? Thank you. Uh, no, actually. Um, okay. I, I, I'm having some a little bit of agita right now, but I've been drinking my Pepto, so I'm good. I'm good. In, in the grips of raisins, <laughs> I see. Dude, you're um, supposed to be on like three podcasts this weekend, and you're chugging Pepto right now. Hey, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll get through it. It's all good. Okay. Uh, Rob, what's up? Our guest tonight, rule of two. Hey, what's up? Thanks for having me back. Appreciate the invite. It's it's been a minute, so I'm stoked to be back on. Lots to talk about. Yep, figured you'd be you'd enjoy talking about some of the PlayStation Five stuff and the and mm -hmm. the, of course of course the Mario Three D All Stars. Cause that's been a hot topic this yes. week as well. Yes, Very indeed. Good. And we have we have MVG back what's going on this on, week. Man? How's it yeah. going? Doing well, doing well. Thanks for having me on. Did you get a chance to play that Mario Three D All Stars collection? Yep, yep, got oh. it yesterday. Been playing it. Yep. Cool. All right, cool. I'll, I'll be curious to see your take on it with all the emulation stuff. Figured would be uh, very knowledgeable with that one. So, uh, cool. And then we have Nate. Yep. Nate gets the crate yep. from 2K Battlegrounds. I did get a crate from a 2K massive crate. Battlegrounds. It was. Yes. It was a pretty big box with a bunch of lot of old shit. Nate the crate. It's not like they sent me any like <laughs> ah, figures of wrestlers. They sent me a stuffed alligator with a collar and a little battlegrounds icon on it a water bottle a covid mask did a you, lunch did you post a, did you post a picture of that on twitter i did not oh you should post a picture and thank him on twitter that's probably why they sent it to you because i want you to that's no, the proper yeah. etiquette yeah. all right <laughs> that's the proper etiquette good job nate <laughs> uh we have click miss click how's it going hello Good to have you on, of course. Talk about 3D Thank All Stars you. collection and uh, God of War Two and all of that. I'm sure that'll come up. So it'll be fun. Uh, then we have Jordan. Hey, the debut of Film Wave. It went well. Yeah, it went well. It was. Uh, it's good. We have some more stuff coming up and some some interesting things to talk about. For sure, that was fun. Talk about the boys. The first half of the well, a little more of the first half of the season. Basically, the first half. That was fun. Yeah. You can yeah check it, well. Check People out really Film Wave. It. Yeah, just search up. I'm saying, uh, well, once you guys have a Star Wars episode, I'm your guy, man. You just let oh, me know. Okay, okay. I'll there be right there. Awesome. That'll be awesome. cool. Uh, then we got OJ, Player Essence. How's it going, man? Good yeah, to have you on. Good. Played Among Us for the first time. Ooh, good, oh, good. cool. When, when, when? You play that? Game's trash. No, I'm just <laughs> 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 I played it early with uh, like my community today. That came, that's a fun wow. game. Not a really I wasn't fun invited. Game. Huh? Oh, let call, call her out. Call her out, OJ. Um, you know what? I wasn't even thinking about because it, it was so early in the morning. I wasn't even thinking wow. about it. Wow. I'm sorry, Click. I'll invite you next time for wow. sure. Ask her. Ask sure. her why she. Ask her why she didn't invite you last time, OJ. Oh, we're not even gonna go <laughs> there right now. Well, she did invite me one time. Yeah, yeah. One time. Was like, yeah. But then there was like another time that I didn't get invited. Oh, so. see, see. Hey, that's Payback one right more there. invite than MVG and I got. Uh, oh my god, yep. I swear, I swear. Everybody's like, girls are so dramatic. Nope, guys, hands down. You True. guys are so freaking dramatic. There's 10 of us oh here. Yeah, fine. We haven't been invited, MVG. Oh my, dude, I invited you and you you rejected me. You reject me once. I'm never going back for it. You know what I mean? You never got invited to, to begin with. Chat, you were here for it. You heard it. <laughs> that was an empty invitation for public oh, oh, purposes. Okay, to my show. love is empty. That's all yeah. I'm hearing right it now. It was an my empty, love is empty invitation. There, wow. There's ten of my heart. Everyone was stabbing over. in the heart. There's, there's ten of us here now. Fire up among us. Let's go. It's true. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do uh, it. And then we got Max, the the robe towel the, over his head going on. I I this is the robes of a man oh, whose God. eyes are opened. I was wrong. Mario Sunshine is the uh, way. Snake? It is the light. I, I, I was wrong. God, man. You see in the way. Mario Sunshine. Them. No, this them. is it, MVG. Listen to the uh, gospel. <laughs> Low you're right. He... You heard, you heard Sean's video earlier. And Sean, Sean slipped up and said the you thing's great. You can trust a man in a No, 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 no. You see this not. towel? This is the towel of truth. I cannot lie while I have this on. <laughs> Much better than the last game one. Worse. I don't really know what they this did. This game worse. Jesus. <laughs> it's better than I remembered it. Ah, okay. There we go. That's good. We'll take it. We'll take it. Uh, <laughs> and then we have Evan, of course. Evan is here. Yep. Good to see him. Hello, Evan. 
So, Sean, you want to tell us about 2K Battlegrounds before we go into some of the topics? So there was like a ridiculous amount of stuff to go over. Yeah, quick, yeah. So. It's not a wrestling game. If you're buying it to play a wrestling game, don't buy it. If you like sort of just like a beat em up style game in a ring that feels a bit like Power Stone and you like wrestling characters, especially like classic, they actually have a pretty decent amount of classic characters. It's pretty fun. You can unlock everything with in game currency. Yes, they do sort of try to push you to buy virtual currency, but that with actual money, but I just haven't done it. You know, I'll just continue to play the game and the story mode's kind of weird. It, it's a weird game, but it's it's better than I expected. It Is there a creator, creator uh, character, creator wrestler in there? Yes, but it's very limited. Okay. Do you, is there any RPG mechanics where you like have your grapple go up or your striking go up or anything like that? There is um, yeah. abilities that you get, yeah. and you okay. could swap out the abilities, and you can use the abilities and match. Okay. Okay. So there's something there. Then I mean, it's not it's not a full price game, right? It's like forty or fifty dollars. Yeah, it's, it's forty bucks. Yeah. Okay. All right. Very cool. Sounds sounds like uh, off the wall crazy. I mean, I saw someone getting eaten by an alligator in the thing or yep. crocodile. So you can actually control a goat when you do the mexico arena there's a goat that's ringside and like i didn't know about it but like the computer just hopped the rail and i'm like i didn't know you could do that and then he gets this little uh controller thing and then the goat comes unleashed and the goat what? attacks you <laughs> okay. okay and, and only, it, it, only a handful of arenas that actually have that mechanic it's not like every single one is an alligator yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. or cars falling on you can you so the majority of the game is normal can you see this being like a, an actual series for them going forward no, it'll be a one off like All Stars was. And All Stars is a better game because it actually feels more like a wrestling game. But I don't think this game is necessarily bad. Mm, OK, and it's just to buy them a year so they can kind of figure out their their plans for the actual simulation wrestling game going forward. Right. OK. All right. Well, I'm actually really curious to see how they how they spent the year off next year with the WWE should be what 2K22 on next gen platforms. So good. All right, let's uh, Evan. How many Discord questions do we have? Just so eight. we know now before we. Okay, do you want to hit us with one now before we go into the PS5 event? Well, we can start this one early. We have a guy who wants Sean to say the word asterisk. Asterisk. All right, there we go. I, I have no Damn. idea what that was. I guess that's something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> a plus. Good job. Good job. Uh, all right, let's go to the PlayStation 5 showcase. Yeah, we're this skipping was... all the games we played. Yeah. Dude, you know how many topics are here? You gotta go through got yeah. several showcases. We gotta talk about played, I played more judgment. <laughs> oh fun. no, we're not doing that again. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> seriously, I played judgment. Oh, we got it. <laughs> I... No, but I was, it's it's actually really... it's, it's actually still judgment. Oh, <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> the double fake out. No, but seriously, I have I have been playing it and that game is excellent. Yeah. Okay, good. That is the un most unintentionally hilarious game when you just beat the crap out of people in the street when they try to beat you up. I, I got Yakuza, so same engine, Yakuza Kiwami 2. Still such good games. Yeah, hey, they're all they're all Game Pass, Jordan. Hey, the story. Well, I got I want to play through those next after playing this. This game is excellent. I really love the whole uh detective and lawyer vibes and I really, I really like want to play I really want to play Like a Dragon. You want to check that out too, Jordan? And uh yeah, in I'll probably check that out. I mean, what else is yeah, gonna be on so, the Xbox at launch, right? Yeah, I mean that's the big one, I guess. That they somehow it's Yakuza's debuting in the in the West on Hey on man, Xbox they got more exclusives in the PlayStation 5. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Damn. <laughs> Name them. Name them. Uh <laughs> think about the next medium. gen. Oh yeah, the medium <laughs> is a big effect. One. Can't wait to get that yeah. on so fact, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> wait, does medium have a release date? It's supposed I, to launch. No. I think it's launch. Is it with launch? Yeah. Okay. I don't think it is. I don't think. Yeah, it I'm is. very stoked for that. Okay, what? we'll see. I can just double we can check look on it Steam to see when it launches. We can double check. On there. I'll get it on my in my Game Pass. We'll check it out. I don't. Is that one going to be in Game Pass? Yeah, is I it? believe so. Uh, Pretty sure. I, I think we can, yeah, we can check that. So let's go. To, let's start with the PlayStation Five showcase then. So this was their big, I guess their last big event. I don't know if they're going to do much else in terms of like one big collected event. They might do some YouTube video releases or press releases or stuff because they, of course, they saved a lot of the good info for for the press release afterwards. But the show started off with Final Fantasy 16. That is a console exclusive, I guess we'll call it for the PS5 because it's also going to be on PC. In fact, the footage they showed was on PC. They made sure we knew that. And then they said everything else from here on is going to be on the PS5. And so they did Spider-Man Miles Morales with a gameplay look. Hogwarts Legacy was finally announced. That thing was leaked. When did that footage come out? A, a year and a half ago. Oh, I, yeah. I actually saved it. It was a year wow. and a half ago. Exactly. Okay. Because I remember it was like that off-screen like cell phone footage where somebody like 
you know, to, we thought it was from a focus group or something where they took an that, took a video. That, that's still the word is that it was, yeah, they, they put it together to be like, what do y'all think about a Hogwarts RPG? And so we just videotaped it and put it online. Yep. And uh, then, then we had, of course, we had, did have the God of War sequel, which I'm sure Miss Click was really, really excited for. God of War Yeez. Ragnarok. I, I guess mm. that's the title. God of War Ragnarok. Mm. So. I think so. I definitely that's screamed out loud when that happened. I was blown away. Yeez. Oh, so cool. We had gameplay for Demon Souls remake. Uh, so we did have full. I mean, we had we had a good bit of gameplay for both Miles Morales and Demon Souls remake, both of which coming at launch. Uh, we did get PlayStation Plus collection, which is interesting. It's going to be a bunch of PS4 games that they grab and put on, I guess, just on the PS5. You just download them and play them. So Infamous will probably be look look pretty cool on there, I'm sure, because I think some of these will probably see some kind of benefit from the more powerful hardware. God of War, Days Gone, Persona 5, Monster Hunter World, and a couple of others thrown on there. And then price and release date, it's coming out. It's coming out. Uh, well, okay, so we have both PlayStation 5 versions, a 400 and a 500, and then it's coming November 12th, which strangely, I mean, they, they're coming out two days after the Xbox. It's a Thursday. And so the Xbox launched on Tuesday. This is launching on Thursday. So it's like that's really weird because we, we figured it'd be a friday or a tuesday so they just picked a random day in the week i guess to go on and then they did show call of duty uh black ops cold war gameplay devil may cry 5 special edition got announced which of course because why not with capcom what did you guys think of the overall show though amazing final fantasy 16 oh my god i think the show was very good like if you thought, uh, look at it it was good yeah it was yeah. very good yeah I, so, I thoroughly enjoyed it I like that they did actually end it with a big game like God of War Ragnarok. And it's coming out 2020. Mm -hmm. Wait, does anyone actually think it's coming out 2021? I 100%. No, no. I think there's a good chance. Yeah. <laughs> I, well, so they talked about it. They did some interviews. I watched the the big Kratos. What is it called? Donna Kratos. They did like a documentary about the Raising first game. Kratos. documentary. Raising mm -hmm. Kratos. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they talked about it in that how it sounds like they the second they were done with the first game, they immediately started the second. There was no gap because they said that like they had so many DLC ideas. They were like, they just immediately started the next game. Mm, so. OK, OK, because I, I mean, that's what, three years then? Three and a half if it comes and, out at the end of 2021. And think yes. they already have the engine. They already have the game mechanics. They already have the idea and themes. Like at this point, they probably have character models. It's just a matter of like, all right, glue it together, record the lines, fight some bosses. Yeah, yeah. they also had tons of story stuff that they didn't even get to use on the original storyboard. So I think it'll be exciting to see them kind of bring that to life. But I think they also wanted to kind of avoid uh, as many hiccups as they could that they did with the first one. Uh, mm -hmm. If any of you guys haven't watched our documentary, it's an awesome watch. Highly recommend it, was good. it again. I like yeah, it, yeah, it's Raising Kratos. It's it it, it kind of gives you again like an insight into I guess that world of things. And there was stuff that you know I was like, oh my god, I'd be like pulling my hair out. You know, they're talking about family life and all that stuff. It was really good. But yeah, I was saying literally earlier during that same broadcast, you know, I would expect to hear something about God of War maybe next year because I, I expect tons <laughs> of things have been delayed. So even if you know. We hear about it. It's slated for next year, but it ends up being 2022. I'm not going to be upset. I mean, it's kind of at this point, you almost expect things to be delayed. So I'd be very surprised if they could get it out by 2021. Props to the team if they could. But... That'd be a big year if they do have it in 2021, because I guess at yes. this point, Ratchet and Clank, I guess, is a 2021 game. Horizon's a 2021 yes. game. Well, I mean, e even if you look at it, though, like the original God of War to God of War 2 was less time. Yeah, so like that's we're talking true. about the original God of War, like on the PS2 to mm -hmm. God of War 2. And God of War 2 is a much better game than God of War 1, you know, um, mm -hmm. in my opinion, at least. Uh, so it's that amazing. was two, yeah. that was about two years. Um, yeah. I think it was like March, when it, like 2005 or something like that. And then they got it out by the end of 2007. So, I mean, this would be, yeah, you know, about three years. So I remember that Stex mini game they had. I was tired. Yes, I do. Tap, tap, <laughs> nut, yeah. That was wild. <laughs> so, I mean, it's very... Well, I'll say... <laughs> Um, <laughs> he threw it. He threw the man off, man. Do you remember yeah, how offended people were? I remember <laughs> even back then, it was like 2002, and there was articles like, Can, "Why are you tapping circle to nut?" <laughs> I mean, it, it, yeah. yeah. It, it, I, it was, I definitely think. Uh, that was go ahead, John. Yeah, I said it was just. I think it was an overall good event. What were you saying, Rob? Um, I I really tend to think that 2021 makes a lot of sense. It's like you said, it's a three year cycle from the release of the last one to this next one. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, when you look at how that game ended, it was a very soft ending. Like, if if they had chosen to, they could have just kept that game going right into the next scene. Mm -hmm. It's not like it just ended with a big boss fight and it's over. And oh my god, I can't believe the credits are rolling. It's soft ending. The characters they have like a an emotional moment. They're walking away. You're kind of playing the game through the credits it was brilliantly done in my opinion 
And so it could so easily feed into whatever ideas they obviously envisioned for where that story would continue to go. But if they really do release it next year, it this kind of leads into a tweet that I even made the other day where I still think there's a good chance that game might have a PS4 version also. I thought about uh, honestly, that. I would put money on it. I, I, I kind of think that. it's going to happen. You yep. think if it's I, launching I will, late into next year, they do that by that point? When they want to start phasing things out by the end of next uh, year? Apparently the PS4 Possibly. still has another three to four years left in it. Oh, you yeah, think so? I mean, yeah, okay. PS2 went for however long, uh, right? And I mean, PS4 sold almost as many units. So I, almost, I think I could believe yeah. that they would support it for a couple of years. I almost, also, if, God of War 2 came ahead. out after the, the, you know, after the PS3 came out. So really? that that's was true. Like, you know, a that year true. afterwards, the PS3 mm. came out. God of War 2 came out that's true. on the, uh, you know, on the well, PS2, you know. So. Rob, I'm curious. You said the game had a soft ending. You saw the mm. actual ending, right? Because that's not a soft ending. <laughs> well, I did. Okay, so when I, I see what you're saying, but when I say it's soft ending, like... It's, you know, you, you get that reveal moment and the characters, to, you know, the audience and Kratos discover a thing, right? And then you, you walk through the, the, with the credits are going and there's, there's end game stuff after that, which I think is yeah. what you're talking about. But th that initial ending to me and, and where that even goes into the post end game stuff, to me, I still feel like is, I guess, I, I guess I'm using soft ending loosely, but it feels like they're just ready for the next chapter to the mm -hmm. point that, like you were saying, I'm sure that they wrapped and then they went right into the next, where they envisioned that story to continue to go. Gotcha. It's, it's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay. Uh, they also had, uh, someone pointed this out as well. They also had Deathloop. I, you know, I've looked at Deathloop a couple of times. Ugh. I'm, I'm not a, so much. I'm not as sold on it. Maybe it's because I've seen it so much. I'm just ready for it to come out now because they yeah, show it exactly. constantly. I, I mean, the idea is interesting. Try to run through one loop to to wipe out all of your enemies at once. But I, I think I just that's a game I would just have to play to try out. So it kind of got lost in this. It kind of got lost in this show a bit to me. It's I mean, like Dishonored. I, it's Dishonored because same developers. And I think it's going to end up, unfortunately, being like Dishonored in that I think it'll end up being niche. And I think, unfortunately, mm. people are going to figure out the perfect run and then nobody will play it any other way of like once you figure out. All right. Now I know how to get all the people and beat the game. It's going to be like, all right, next game. Yeah, I guess I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Um. So, I, I mean, I like the show overall, but the real fireworks came afterwards. Like, like everything just kind of kind of fell apart. Oh, Max, did you want to mention Final Fantasy 16 real quick? I real quickly, so there's already a lot of theory videos up there. Uh, it's very interesting. This project has been long rumored. Uh, apparently, it's been development for quite a while. It looks so good. And one of the main topics in the Final Fantasy community is I think this is going to be the first M rated final. Yeah, Fantasy. I was going to ask. So I was going to ask you that. If you thought that's what it was going to be because there was some, there was mm. some, actually more blood than I figured would be in there for a yeah. Final Fantasy trying to skate that teen rating okay. and, and, and kind of the themes it. they were showing with war and all this. It looked, yeah. I mean, it looked pretty serious. So maybe they do right. we had we had final fantasy type zero that was mature rated uh so well, i'm i think yeah type zero the PSP game? that's the that's on the xbox it, yeah they moved it to the xbox one and the ps4 as well but oh, okay. as for a numbered final fantasy that would be the first numbered final fantasy that would be mature rated mm. that i that i rolled new of. Type zero uh yeah type zero yeah yeah it's 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 mature, mature. yes yeah, so that's right mature here. rated that that is that's actually a fairly violent game too when they moved what, it over. yeah what made it mature i'm curious they just had so more I, they just had more violent moments in the game well, it's yeah. it's yeah. that and i think like what you just said a second ago spawn way which is the the themes of war final fantasy 16 yeah, is right. very much about war this was very much about child soldiers specifically yeah. so that dude in the beginning they like they like wipe out a chocobo in like actually pretty yeah. violent fashion yeah it like know? bleeds to death yeah i am rating you kill a chocobo you're getting in it get it out so much i know we're, we're, we're gonna move quick but i kind of I, I mean i love final fantasy as well but i think that the game it looks great and i think it's I, i'm i'm excited for it but i'm happy that it's not crazy on the graphics you know like that that's not the thing that stood out it seemed like they just wanted to get the game done because they've been doing this for a long time with 13 and like a lot of times graphics have been causing them issues and mm -hmm. whatever the case is but it, it very much looks like it could be on ps4 as well if they wanted to have it on there yeah but it's just going to be ps5 cool. and, and pc so i'm happy that they're just focusing on the game sure just worry about that the graphics are already good enough you know but yep. it doesn't yeah. look too much better than what we saw from like royal edition on it's, the pc or royal the, edition on the xbox one x you know it's the producer from final fantasy 14 it, it's yes. the producer and a lot of people we don't have confirmation they they've purposely said we're not going to make any more statements till 2021 but a lot of people are speculating that they do this in the final fantasy 14 engine because it's so easy to work with so it's like, all right 
we could just make good art. Man, even covering your mouth, that was a lot of tell on the mic, RG. I, I was going to try to mute again because I know my, my typing was getting, but I was like, there's no way I'm going to have time. <laughs> Jesus, Christ. it's going to happen. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> like, it's coming. I was like one of those like Homer Simpson bars. Like, yeah. 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 I told you, I got agita tonight, man. I think I'm smelling that through my microphone. Oh, Ooh, gosh. That roast beef? Good lord, dude. MVG, <laughs> what do you think about the show? Uh, I thought it was good overall. Uh, it was, uh, I'll say it was solid. It, it didn't, it didn't knock it out of the park for me, but it was, uh, it was a pretty good showcase. I, you guys didn't talk about Village, Resident Evil. Yeah. I, uh, yes. I thought the second cool. trailer that we saw kind of got me sold on the game. Like the first one they showed, I wasn't really big on it, but um, this one, I, I'm getting into it. So I thought that was cool. And obviously, Devil May Cry as well was another, another thing that I thought was was pretty cool to see. Um, but yeah, overall, I, I thought the show was was above average. I, I had nothing, no issues with the show, but like you said, it was everything that happened afterwards that that was the problem, really. I was kind of I was kind of hoping mm. they would have done a bit of gameplay for Village, like they did with like like Spider yeah. Man or Demon. So that's what I was really hoping for. Maybe they'll yeah. do. I don't know. Maybe they'll do something with that at Tokyo Game Show or something. A little more with that mm. info with Capcom. It's very possible. Uh, but I think that, I mean, so many people, we can kind of expect that to probably look so similar to Resident Evil 7, unless yeah. they surprise us somehow. That might be why they're holding off for now, and because it's okay. next year, too. Yeah, it's supposed know? to come out next year. That's why I figured maybe Tokyo Game Show, since that's like the show, I guess that's going to be the show after that, the game would already be out. So that's a nice shot for them to advertise mm -hmm. a bit more. What Nate, what'd you think about the show? It was a good show. It served their purpose. They could have done better with communication. There was no reason to leave Miles Morales as a holiday game only to date it in a tweet uh, later. So I, I think I know to, why that is. <laughs> or to throw up, you know, the pricing and then not say, oh, you know, pre-orders are opening yeah. tomorrow and, and have Jeff Keighley do it. It was weird communication through Sony there. And even Demon Souls say it's a launch game. It's not hard to say launch, you know, launch day. I and then we agree. get the date at the end of the show. So that, think, that was a pretty exciting game, yeah. honestly. Like that game, I, oh, yeah. I, I actually watching. Like I'm not a huge Souls fan. I I, I suck at them uh, all the same. But like after watching that, I was like, shit. Let me take out my Dark Souls remaster on the Switch. <laughs> I, I feel like playing something like this. it looks like, good. It looks yeah, good. It looked really good. Well, so it's gonna because all the Demon Souls and Dark Souls all of them have a uh, co-op. So if you want, if you get stuck RGT, you could actually summon me in your game, and I'll beat all the bosses for you. I'll be your dad. It'll be okay. <laughs> I, I will. I will take advantage Dark of Souls that. Daddy. It looks yeah, like I actually had a. I had a weird, weird experience with that. Um, my fiance, she games a little bit too. She's actually a huge fan of like Dark Souls and Bloodborne. And uh, I was really excited to show her that gameplay because I was like, you won't believe how good this looks. This is the most next gen thing and it's a soul. So it's going to be really exciting. And I showed it to her and she had, you know, she's not nearly as much of like, you know, a gamer as we all are. So keep that in mind. But it was interesting seeing someone who's more on the casual side as I showed her that game, already a fan of Dark Souls. She she actually kind of struggled with how it looked. She was like, really? it's wow. yeah, she was like, I know it looks amazing. Like, I know it does because my eyes say that. But she thought it looked weird. And and it was I don't know. It was tough. I, I was like asking her about it and we were trying to talk it out. And I was like, I was like, what? You know, it obviously looks better than what Bloodborne and Dark Souls looks like. But why do you think it looks weird? And, hmm. you know, she she struggled to put it into words. But I thought it was interesting that somebody who's not a huge gamer, but is familiar with Dark Souls thought that. I think what the new graphics, like a next gen mm -hmm. Demon Souls game, looks like, it was kind of weird for her brain. I thought that was kind of interesting. I saw some. Get rid of her. She's defective. The, the super <laughs> hardcore Demon Souls fans, I I saw a couple of people a little bit upset about how they changed the lighting style specifically, about how they made it look uh, more, much brighter, more spooky. How it's supposed to like like when you see that boss coming into the light. Like originally, everything was just static one filter through everything so you can clearly see yeah. enemies you can clearly see pitfalls and traps whereas now they're trying to go for like a spooky ambiance i did well, see some people... they've got that per pixel lighting thing going on to mm. show off the new tech it looks incredible mm. like I, I was blown away it when does. i saw that i was like holy saw... shit this is like next this is this is a next generation looking game you know? i saw some people not as sold on the graphics on like twitter and stuff but i, I really i think it looked great like visually mm -hmm. i think it was good i yeah. uh, i do some people were wondering is this something that that like wouldn't work on a playstation the four they could probably make it work if they wanted to yeah but, but i mean I, th I think if they I, yeah i think it would but i mean they, they would have to you know reduce the lighting um yeah. stuff that they've done but yeah i but, mean there's no yeah. reason why i couldn't run on the ps4 
But aside from even the visuals, one of the things that they really highlighted with Demon Souls was the transition into the areas, which was a simultaneous. There yeah. was no loading. Yep. That's true. With the fog. Yep. Yeah. Then with the fog touched it, boom, it was like loaded just, and they would just walk right in. So that was that was pretty cool just to see that. I'm I'm excited for Demon's Souls. I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. And that is going to only be on the PlayStation 5. They also had the file sizes up. That's going to be 66 gigabytes. Is that I don't know. I don't know. Does that feel does that feel larger than people were expecting? Because some people yes. seem to think there was going to be a because I mean if you look at like the Souls games, they're usually smaller games smaller yeah like, i was about to say that same thing compared to most other games currently it's yeah de they're definitely smaller than other games but yeah. it's, it's right up to where you would expect for a lot of games on ps4 and x like the bigger games on ps4 yeah. and xbox one i mean like, it, you know. it, yeah. it's 4k assets oh, yeah it could be it could be 8k assets we don't know what what texture size oh that's a good point that's so good i mean point. and you know it, it sounds it sounds about right for me for a next gen game Spider-Man yeah, Ultimate the, Edition is over 100 gigabytes with the original yeah, Spider-Man yeah. remastered as well. God, I saw the it. Yeah, it's like 105, that, though, right? Jeez. De Demon Souls is like there's no like there's not a lot of audio. Like there's not a lot of like mm, that's true. spoken audio, you know? Mm -hmm. So they were able to get it to that size. I mean, if there was a lot of audio in there like spoken, it, it Yeah, how big is Sekiro? So I don't think Sekiro was that big either cuz I remember downloading no, it. I, like I 16 I gigs I think or 18. Gigs. I, I thought it was like 25. Yeah, that's what I thought it was. It was like 25. Pretty, pretty small. Compared yeah, that's still pretty stuff. small, I think, by comparison. Can yeah. I can I really quick tack on what Nate was saying earlier? Um, mm -hmm. Just about like I, I feel like it, I agree with Nate. It was a missed opportunity where you uh, and they did this with the first when we first found out about Miles Morales. No one could tell if it was DLC, if it was standalone, if it was a whole new game, if it was just you know like no one could really tell. And then they'd clarify on Twitter what it was after articles that were incorrect were coming out. Uh, and then like people only really found out through Twitter. And then I feel like the same thing kind of happened again with Miles Morales being like, oh no, this is actually coming out on launch. It's not just holiday 2020. I just, I think, and like, just put it in your trailers. Like you don't put the date obviously, cause you're like subconsciously leaking the launch date of the console, but mm. like just say it's going to be a launch title. Like there are a lot of people who aren't as active on social media and they're going to get confused by that. Like if they just see the trailer and it's holiday 2020, I don't know if the uh -huh. trailers have been changed now with the date on it, so, but oh, I know yeah. there are a much more casual people on social media who they don't have Twitter. Twitter is very niche, you know, and, mm. and they all of a sudden don't know. And then all of a sudden they know somehow. And it's like, that, that could be done so much better. Like so, the marketing to me is like, please just, just so the, be consistent. The reason, the reason I think that happened. Oh, by the way, uh, Rob is, was kind of right. Sekiro, when it first came out, apparently was like 13 gigabytes, but it's gone up to like 25 with patches and all this mm. stuff. Oh, mm. weird, yeah. though. So that's actually one of the largest Souls games I think I've seen, like Souls light -like games that I've seen, because even like Dark Souls on the PS4, I think was under 20 gigabytes. So that, yeah, it's Demon bad, Souls in man, comparison because... is pretty large. Um, yeah, it's too bad because that that 15 to 25 range feels like the ideal number for most games. It's just too bad that so many games this gen and apparently going into the next gen, they seem to be so big. If every mm -hmm. game, if a Call of Duty and a Doom and like a Halo could come out and be 25 gigs, even 30, that would just be so much more comfortable. But yeah. clearly we're going to be running into the same problem. And maybe you plan on bringing that up, John, but it's just it's so more concerning. You know? It's more concerning with the PS5 uh, storage space because 825 it, yeah. and then probably less than that because the, the, yeah. the PlayStation the probably take like 80 gigabytes or something. Yeah, well, the, the OS is going to yeah. eat, eat up more, like probably like 100 gigs, you know. The Pro yeah. should be just a two terabyte PS5. That should be the Pro model. That's another wonder of Sony's yep. show is that you're launching this hardware in a couple of months and you don't tell us about you know, external storage solutions. It's oh yeah, that's right. Eight hundred gigabyte True. SFD, and now you know Miles is going to be a hundred gigs. So I'm already using an eighth of my hard drive, and they didn't give us any information about you know, are you releasing some sort of external solution at launch? When is this coming out? And that was the perfect opportunity to do it. And again, their mm -hmm. marketing chose to be silent. They're probably going to put a press release or a YouTube video out with because um, they're going to do the teardown. They're still going to do that which yeah. should be interesting to see how that goes. And I assume sometime around that they'll do, okay, these are the, these are the NVMe drives we've decided that are good for it. You can try to buy one, but like roll the dice. Cause it'll, I assume when you pop it in, it'll run a test to make sure the read writes are good enough for it. And then it'll go from there. But I'm the not reason sure if they will though, I don't, I don't know if they will do the NVMe thing. Like I think the NVMe thing is just going to be a Twitter thing. Like, like all the other information. Sure. I can see that. Like just yeah. put it on like a, like a blog it, post or something. Yeah. Cause that, that's going to confuse the average, average, 
average person. I figure they would put a video out to show how you install it, though. Uh, sort of. Absolutely, they'll absolutely do that. <laughs> if, if they don't, they'll don't worry. Do I got don't. everyone covered. I was going to say it. that's <laughs> for you. That's that I'll bread. Take care of it. <laughs> Come see me. <laughs> uh, so I, the reason, by the way, I think there was no release dates in this because i was thinking about it and i started talking to some people i think a lot of these trailers were made a while ago oh yeah dude th th this thing was filmed, <laughs> this, this thing was filmed at least a month ago you know it might, have, longer. it might have been longer than that even yeah i i feel like yeah. it's been a bit they've been holding on to this stuff for a little while now to paste it all together and put it out because it was mm. so weird you figure those have been the big moments like demon souls has this cool run through and then at the end it's like launch day launching with the playstation 5 exclusively on the but, ps5 but come on let, let, let's be honest we all we all create content and we use you know Vegas and Adobe and all that. So how long? How, Cyberlink how long director. How long, does, how long does it take to edit a just a, a, an a update to your, to your video? Yeah. Right. That's true. Right? Yeah. I think that you only get distributed once. Is, I think what you run into is all the people you got to go through for approval. I bet you they have yep. to approve the font. Approval. <laughs> approval. They still screwed that up. They had names <laughs> claiming it's coming. Oh yeah, it's on PC. Then they had our take down yeah, the trailer. Oh, yeah. I love that. That, that was, was crazy. awesome. That was so good. <laughs> so I mean, that went through all those eyes and like. It screams that this presentation was, and even launch, it's just being thrown together at the last minute. It's like, we well, got to yeah. scramble now. And come on, both Sony and Microsoft, what are you doing? If you really cannot launch this year and look prepared, do the delay. Just You know what? I almost wonder. Well, anybody. the thing of it, the thing about that is it, 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 one company would have to do it. One company would have to go through yes. with the balls to do it. And then... But the problem is, I don't even necessarily. I think the other company would see that. Uh, okay, let me rephrase that. Yes, yep. but I almost feel yep. maybe not. I feel that if Microsoft delayed, Sony would take it as an opportunity. But I honestly feel that if Sony delayed, Microsoft probably wouldn't launch on November 10th. I don't think they would wait all that much longer, but I think they would actually wait a little bit longer, like maybe maybe January or something yeah, like that. You I don't can't, know. You can't like, at this point, you can't, you can't delay it, though. Cause no, not now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you, can't, now. you can't. I mean, even before, with the investors, you just there's too much money on yep. the line. It's just, it, I just, it just wasn't going to happen. You I, know? But I also, I also feel like why miss out on those holiday sales though? Yeah, you're going to have tons yeah. of more people with the eyes on yeah. it than even just like the hardcore gamers are going to buy it no matter what. Well, there are a lot yeah. of people who buy their kids things for the holidays just because it's there. That yep. click, click nailed it, which is that the fact that it, these consoles would be better with an extra three months. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I think we can yeah. all agree yes. these consoles would be better with those extra three months, but there's yes. so many billions of dollars on the table. They don't have a choice. It's like launch right. it and figure it out. Yeah, and the really frustrating thing is I actually think Sony was the one company who was really in the position to potentially delay because it was Microsoft who actually said last year in 2019 before the world ended that they were coming out <laughs> holiday this year. But Sony never said anything until this year, till after yeah. that stuff was happening. So, you know, maybe conversations with their investors behind the scenes obviously could have influenced that or maybe they were worried about Microsoft having that jump. But it would have been really nice, like Microsoft obviously had to commit and stick to this year because of last year. But it would have been great if Sony was willing to be like so confident that they would have said, you know what, we need the extra five or six months. You know, Nintendo could launch successfully in the spring in March. So maybe we're going to try the same thing. Mm. We're not worried about the Xbox Series X having that five or six months. So we'll just come out next year. But they well, clearly didn't do that. So, yeah, it, it didn't seem to matter too much because after the show, randomly pre-orders just started breaking it was all yep. over the place uh, the word is Worst. that one Worst. one retailer decided to post them up and then all the other retailers were like well we're not missing this we're posted to walmart right wasn't it walmart? Yeah, they, they started walmart yeah, started yeah. first so walmart started gamestop then went ahead best buy target website started crashing it was but like we were gonna get plenty stuff. of warning we were gonna yeah. get plenty of time that it, that it, that, it that a... clip did not age well <laughs> it, it was it was a night it, it was a nightmare for some Dude, people, yeah. Right? Yeah. it was horrible I went to a GameStop. There's a GameStop near my house, and I, I just literally jumped in an Uber and went straight over there and pre-ordered it. I got the last disk drive one, and as I was leaving, about 20 cars pulled up. Everybody was literally getting in line to try and get it, and they had to tell everybody they were sold yeah, out. Like, I had, and this yeah. is a tiny one. Hopefully, you so, got out of there before they knew it was you, man. I did. Well, <laughs> yeah. I, was my, I was wearing my Dreamcast guy hat. <laughs> I was guy. Like, oh, I'm going to a GameStop. I should wear. It. And then after I got the pre-order, and everybody was mad, I was like, boop, 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 uh, I'm taking yeah, my right. hat. Yeah, I had a nice preview. I have a YouTube channel. I had a nice preview, Demon Souls preview event with that Best Buy cart. It was it was getting out of control there, trying to get yeah, something to cart, go through. 
I wanted to strangle that Best Buy cart. I was trying I so hard. If, if I could strangle it, I I, I would have. But it, it's it's not only the Best Buy cart. I also had issues with Walmart. It's like if you go to Walmart and you mm -hmm. pre-order online, and it's the, the 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 PS5 is in your box. They should not say, "Oh, somebody else checked out faster than you. Yours is sold." It should. I agree. That is that the message in yeah. for you? I mean, people there, would... because you have bots, you have bots that are buying multiple they should, ones as fast what they do as possible. Yeah, but then yeah. like you could like pre-order it, have it in your car, and then go shop for a comforter. Well, what they do? You know what I mean? Like you, they... you, you <laughs> got the put a time. Put a time limit on it. Yeah, they though. put a timer. That's how you okay. Do a if you put, like, okay. Yeah, they put a timer. That makes do sense. something, but the, the way like, 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 that seconds, like you know, the way they handle pre-orders is horrible. The way that they handle pre-orders is horrible, and then everyone wants to talk about scalpers and this and that. No, y'all should blame these. Stupid retailers and blame Sony, you know, blame yeah. Sony first and foremost, and then blame the retailers because of the way that they have their how things work. It's just, it's just, it didn't work out, and it pissed yeah. so many people off, you know. If Microsoft is able to have told the world this is our pre-order date, and there's no issues with GameStops or WalMarts jumping out there throwing pre-orders out, clearly Sony could have organized some sort of agreement with them to say, "Don't do it until we tell you." I, so the fact think, that it happened that way <laughs> makes me think that either I, they did it on purpose or they didn't yeah. care. I think I think Sony wanted pre-orders to go live before Microsoft, and they were probably yeah. trying yep. to cut it really close. And yeah. their message ended up being, "Yeah, just go live." <laughs> That's yeah. fine. And <laughs> one of the most frustrating parts to me about the whole thing is that it doesn't, basically, this doesn't matter to Sony. At the end of the day, they aren't hurting at all, like some bad tweets and some frustrated people, but everyone's frustrated because they're dying to throw $500 they want to get it. at Sony. Yeah. Yes, and Sony is like, well, all of our pre-orders sold out no matter how it happened, y'all bought it. Yep. So it's it's kind of frustrating that we can't, I don't know what words to use. Teach them a lesson, so to speak. You know, they're they're just they're <laughs> yeah, not learning. I'll show you. Here's five hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I have the last laugh now. Here's my yeah, credit like, card. How dare like you get out your credit card? This is I'm really offended right now. I want you to know no, that. I expect this type <laughs> of stuff. I'm not to happen, happy though. about this. No, the funny thing is, I expect this stuff to happen. So like when Sony lies or when they mislead people, I'm like, oh, it's just Sony. You know, I I expect that there's certain things that I expect. So I'm not I'm not too angry about it. It's just something that I wish that was handled a little bit a little bit better that's they, all but i expect yeah. crazy stuff to happen when you launch a console it's not easy i know how it is like working with these companies it's tough it's not an easy thing to do there's a lot of moving pieces True. it's logistics during covid which is this has never happened right from the industry that i can think of from the yeah. 30 plus years i've been playing games and we've never lost in this type of atmosphere with this type of thing going on worldwide so there's going to be issues so i'm not really like if you if yeah. you take that into consideration I mean, you can be upset, but it's not like something to get like super, super, super crazy. I mean, all, I mean, and really, there's there's just there's one major thing that we that I feel like we all just need to look at and take away with this is that I got my pre-order in. So fuck you all, baby. <laughs> fuck you all. You didn't say that about. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you got number three to three also. You didn't wait. We'll get into it. We'll get into it. I was gonna say, hold on, hold on. Can we do that? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Can Sony be considered anti-consumer now? I'm still talking now? about. I'm still talking about how it's how it's uh, how it's a Whoa. terrible situation. They did, they did they did they did come out and apologize on Twitter and say that more stock will be readily available in the in the yeah. coming days and weeks. So we'll Sorry see how that for goes. All that money we made from you. Also, I, I assume like they went live randomly, but that didn't seem to stop scalpers because like eBay is still full of thousand, yeah. twelve hundred dollar, thirteen dollar, hundred dollar PS5. So it's still they still got them. And I mean, it, it could be people who maybe didn't even want one for themselves. So they just bought the one that they knew they wanted to sell and they don't even care if they get one. I guess the strategy is to buy is for some people buying two and selling one and just breaking. Yeah, in. I guess that was the strategy, yeah. too. I don't know. But I'm the idea gonna, is, is don't buy it. Don't buy Don't buy it now because it sounds like Sony might actually flood the market a bit and then it'll drive yeah. the prices down for that. So hopefully. Don't don't buy until like a week before the PS5 drops. Or who knows, maybe you'll have walk-ins. You can go in and just pick it up at De a store because they flooded it. December will be the real test on how much they have. Like it's gonna launch in November. Obviously, there's not gonna be it's gonna be scarce. But what's the stock? What's the count in December? And what mm -hmm. are the prices going for? That's gonna be exactly how okay, like there's gonna be there's gonna because like December, it's Christmas, right? And you wanna get to them before Christmas. So we'll see how the stock is around then, you know. Dude, the, the real test, the real test is going to be the failure rates on these things. I hope. Yeah. I hope they mm. haven't rushed these oh, things out. Jinx it. Like, I, I'm really, really nervous about that. That there's just going to be a, a higher than normal failure rate because they've just rushed this thing to market. 
So hopefully, you know, knock on wood, we're, yeah. all, we're all good. They're, they're, dude, they're I, clocking I, that, that shit pretty high. Dude, that's the thing I'm worried about the most is like how – is it going to handle the heat and it's going to – you know, the cooling and all that stuff, if it's going to be good, you know, after six months or so after using it yeah. every day. I need, I need to see not, that tear down. I need to see I'm that not going to lie. I didn't pre-order one and I'm going to wait till next year. So wow. I hope okay. – I hope, That's I hope, the move. I hope that's for y'all's sake, well, I mean, that's what you guys no reason, do. You take stuff click, apart, you review it, that's fine, but I'm waiting. Because me personally, click, I mean, if it don't work, point. I'm like, uh, poke it with a stick. I don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah, but if it's really, if it, there's really no reason to. I mean, now that right. they've, you know everything's coming out on the PS4 anyway, like if you want to pr- play Horizon for Ben West, just get the yes. PS4 version exactly. and enjoy it. Look at the bigger picture, though. If you get that defective PlayStation 5 and it doesn't work, Think, oh of the view. Think of the views. Think of the views you get on that video, yeah. baby. Listen, Think of the man. Views. My PS5 came the second, I'm gonna take a leak on mine. Y'all? The second it comes in, somebody fuck me over, dude. What about you? About you? Like, here's, my, here's my here's my console. There we go, Caleb. No, there we go. Oh, there we go. People, we go. people legit did that with the Xbox One. I saw an Xbox One that was white and crusty and like broke. He's like, I, I I opened it up and it was just like this. I'm like, bro, you lying? But you I get. Lying. It. He's like, he has a stupid look on his face. And I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 million views, you know? like. But again, <laughs> bag, baby. women are dramatic. Let's just talk about that. <laughs> it, it, so much drama. It, it'll be, We're it'll dramatic be a, for a reason. Uh, we need to be dramatic. Financially uh-huh, dramatic. Uh-huh, we just, uh-huh. we'll just need to see, we'll just need to see that tear down. Then we can get an idea of how the cooling is inside. So right. I definitely, uh, if, if it wasn't for Demon Souls, I would have been pretty mm. happy waiting. But that's that's the reason for me. I just have yep. to have a day. They got it. They got yeah. us. Yeah. Can, can I say? I, I'm going to say it. I am but hurt that Miles Morales is cross gen. I'm going to straight up say it because that's the number yeah, one let's reason go into, I was buying. Let's go into that now because we did after again after the showcase. They they put a lot of stuff in the press releases that came out, kind of buried in some uh, <laughs> in some paragraphs all the way down their blog E-T-W. post, but. Part of that is that they will have cross-gen games. Sackboy, Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and Horizon Forbidden West are all going to be PS4 games as well, which Mm -hmm. is kind of funny because they certainly, I would say throughout this year, while Microsoft was talking about being cross-gen with their system, they didn't really say anything. Sony did until like less than two months before the PS5 dropped. They're like, oh yeah, those games we've been showing you on the PS5 are also going to be on the PS4 Mm -hmm. and they're going to be $70. Yeah. on the ps5 it's uh they they had a lot of information that came out all at once that was certainly not <laughs> exciting information for people who did, were looking so, did sony lie time. did they lie oh okay so i went back yes. through i no no hold on. I, I went back through everything technically they didn't lie go on i i did not ever catch a moment where they said only on ps5 I could not find it. I was looking everywhere. Unless I missed it. Unless I really it missed is, it, I might have. Let, let's face it. They heavily implied it. Like they when definitely they, implied they, it. They said like this is the PlayStation Five reveal yes. of it, and you see Miles Morales slow motion. Yeah, like that's that's a hundred percent. I'll be dead honest. The reason I play pre ordered this day one isn't just because I'm a little bit of a Sony pony. It's because I'm obsessed with mm-hmm. Spider Man. That's why I was there. Yeah, I, I feel no. a little bit. It's more well, mis. It's more misled. That's oh, why yes. I put a little question mark in my <laughs> in mine. I said they kind of misled people yep. to believe that with what they said and their actions. And it, if the thing about it is like, if it's on the PlayStation Four, then just say it's on the. Why are you holding that to yeah. after the show in a little text? Their afterwards, marketing is just weird. Just say dude. PS4 and PS5. Everybody up until this point, we knew what games were coming to Xbox One and Xbox Series X. If there was exclusives or not, they let us know. But the fact that they're sitting there and everyone, even their own fan base, even when on their own social media accounts, they're saying only PS5, their fan base is rallying everybody on their own. And they see that. And then they wait all the way to the very end. They didn't disclose that beforehand. They wait all the way till when pre-orders drop after the show to make it believe. Like That's the problem that people have. Maybe they didn't lie outright, but they really kind of misled people because everybody was on the very day it was deceptive these are marketing. not going to be PS4 but hey games. more deceptive. people get to play it technically it could be and that and that's fine and and that's great but mm-hmm. you should have said that it was on the playstation you, you made it seem as if it was only going to be a ps5 and it's harnessing the power we really believe like the, the, one, the way that jim yep, ryan yeah. was talking about that... we really believe in generations it made it seem as if they're saying hey I ps4 agree. okay well, ps5 we rock them with this like that's the problem they... and many people were misled so it, yeah 
yeah. Insomniac did that official statement. Like, I think it was a month and a half ago now, they did like an official statement talking about how Miles Morales could only run at 60 frames a second on the uh, the PS5. And they showed a really cool GIF of it, super beautiful, like swinging as Miles Morales. And I guess, yes, that's kind of a lie by omission because what they didn't say is, also 30 frames a second on PS4. Like, <laughs> but I don't know, it's still disappointing to me. I, I want to see hardware pushers. Like, that's why we buy next gen is, is I want right. to play a game that could not exist yeah. on my PS4. Yeah, but I mean, it's I think it's hard for a lot of people to forget because I agree with you. I mean, we all want that, which is part of why Demon Souls is so exciting. But every console generation does this, right? Every console generation has ports of the previous generation. Like, so it's obviously the problem is all of the implications that Sony made that, yeah, this is harnessing the power. You're not going to see this stuff go cross gen. That's and true, Rob, that but I mean, if I think about the Xbox 360 yeah. to the Xbox One and the PS3 to PS4, like you had like Call of Duty Ghosts and stuff like that. I mean, and like Watch Dogs and, and stuff like that. I mean, they, yeah. they never they never deliberately you know held back the previous gen version of that game. And, and kind of announced the next gen version. I mean, they were pretty upfront and said, yeah. you know, Ghost is coming to Xbox 360 and Xbox One and, you know, all that stuff. So this time feels a little different that they, they you know, misled the, you know, the public on the, this one a little. The thing was, it was 100%, it, it's yeah. hard. It was hard to believe in the first place that they would just be like, all right, we're done with over 100, 110 million you know, people mm -hmm. on the PS4. We're just we're just going to move to this unknown right now because right now the PS5 is unknown until you know the first year or yeah. two when we see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I like that's got to be so hard to let go of that old you know the user base currently, and then go right into yeah. the the new generation that's technically right now at zero because they haven't released it yet. But I mean, the one that really got me was uh, Horizon Forbidden Horizon, West because yeah. when I heard that, I said that ah. was a shocker. <laughs> yeah, that, that open world man needs that yeah. SSD. Oh wait, wait a minute, no, it doesn't. Well, no, there were. I remember. I remember there were things they couldn't do on the PS4. If I'm, if I'm thinking correctly, that I remember they said in interviews. I think it was like what, like flying dinosaurs or something. There were things they couldn't quite do on the PS4. So now I'm thinking, well, it can't be the exact same game on the PS5 and the PS4 if there were things they couldn't do there. So I. I, I, I I, I think I'm in a tough place with it because it, I, I like obviously the the lying and the implications and all that stuff. That is the real problem. Like the the practice Sony went through of telling it, making us believe they were going to be only PS5. But if I separate from that, I'm not personally. I might be alone in this, but I'm not super bothered by it because of the other stuff I was mentioning. Mm. It it is pretty common. And obviously letting go of that 110 million install base, whatever the PS4 is at, it's so insane. I mean, we expect companies to do that. Halo is going to be cross-gen. <laughs> Breath of the Wild was cross-gen. Twilight Princess was cross-gen even. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so like, they, you know, they these things... Us, they, they let us know about that well in advance. Uh, that totally. You know? Yeah, and I'm so not that's, denying that's that. Issue. Yeah, and, and you're right. Like, I agree. Again, I'm not denying that. To me, it's like half of my brain says that part is the problem but if i also look at the other angle of just the games and what they're doing it's like well it does happen it's not yeah. surprising like why not sell horizon on the ps4 i want the ps5 version but mm -hmm. i get mm -hmm. it so that's that's kind of why i'm saying i'm like conflicted about it because i i get both angles you know yeah it's it's is yeah if they but this shouldn't have even been a story because if when they first showed it it no. popped up with the logo ps5 and ps4 you know it would just be like all right moving on i mean no, but i, I think a, like oh go ahead click I was just going to say, if they, from the beginning, had said that it was going to be for PS4, a lot of people would have been like, okay, why would I buy a PS5 yet? And I think they definitely wanted to drive as many people to get those pre-orders as possible. Mm. So they could tell that after the fact. But, no, could you say the again, exact same thing? What kind of, wow, I wasn't done. <laughs> could you say the exact same thing about that? <laughs> could you say the same thing about the Xbox Series X, though, in that case? What's People that? are saying oh. that. That's the, that's, yeah, that, that was the, that was the narrative was, yeah. oh, Xbox and Series X, it has the same it, games. Exactly. You know? And that's what makes Sony look like absolute fucking scumbags in this situation. Whoa. Because, they, Whoa. because they knew the whole time. They knew the whole time that those games were going to be coming to the PlayStation 4. But they know people and, are not going to be as critical of them. Then why wouldn't they just announce it in the first place? Well, listen, they, dude, I want to know why, too, because their marketing to me has made me raise a question mark every now and then. I'm just they, saying also, if they want to drive that hype, they're not going to show it during the main event. They'll say and, it afterwards, just like everything else. And to add to that, I, I have questions about Gran Turismo 7. I have questions uh -oh. about Ratchet. I have questions about everything. Exactly. God of War. Is that Again, PS4? God of War, yeah. I mean, yeah. If, if, if it was truly started development three years ago, then... I mean, they didn't have dev kits back then, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, is that a cross-gen game as well? Oh, that, I mean, that's where it gets interesting. I mean, everything I, that we saw in the previous showcase—not this one, the, the the first one where they showed, 
you know, Gran Turismo and the first time we saw Miles Morales. I mean, all those games could potentially be running on PS4, you know? Mm. Yeah. Well, so I think that, I think the whole point of this, let's face it, this was at the very least misleading marketing. I think it's that they were getting us ready for the idea of a $500 console so that dumb bitches like me would pile up $500. <laughs> and when they announced that console's release date, I pre-ordered it instantly. At this point, it doesn't matter that these games are coming yeah. to PS4. I already set aside the $500. I got it. Like, whatever. So no, what about what sense. everyone's excited to pay $70 for games now, right? <laughs> I will, exactly. yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> that's not a, I don't know. That, that seems like such a weird thing because I think most of us grew up in the 16 bit era, maybe not click in Jordan, but I mean, during the 16, it's not a knock. It's not a knock. I'm saying if anything, it's good that you're younger than us. Um, but I mean, we grew up in the 16 bit era, you know, I grew up and, on arcade cabinets. Come on, man. How old are you? What the hell, what the hell is that? What is it? It doesn't have any. It doesn't have anything to do with how old I am. It has anything to do with how old my parents are. Okay, did you did you go buy and did you go buy sixteen bit so and sixty four games? That's where I'm going with this. Was Wait, the price I, 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 I Wait, see what Sean's buying, saying. Like, where are you buying sixteen bit and sixty four games, Sean? No, I said sixteen bit and sixty four and sixty four. But no, games like. Sean, Kill- Killer Instinct was like a seventy dollar game. Chrono Trigger, Virtual Dude, Racing was a hundred dollar game. Four was like ninety bucks. N sixty four games when they came. Though? And I know what you're gonna say, but say it. Okay, no, go ahead, go ahead. No, but say it. No, say it. Just in case I mean, other like, people don't. The whole atmosphere is different though. Renting, like people didn't like. I know for me when I was growing up, we would share games way more. It was it was different. Yes. You couldn't yeah. afford to spend. My parents could never afford these seventy dollars games. Yes. We would have to buy them at the mom and pop shops. They would have them way cheaper. You don't buy them day one. Yeah, like you crazy. definitely wait till that, they're cheaper. Yeah, that price hike's gonna be crazy. If only there was like a program, like a I don't know, like a Game Pass or something. Like a Game Pass purchase mm. to <laughs> offset it. <laughs> Yeah, that I will say that jump in price definitely made Game Pass look a, a bit more valuable now for, for some jump people. In, yeah. yeah, the jump in price is going to impact buying habits. And the jump in price is even more substantial for European regions. In the UK, oh, game, price, yeah, they're getting game prices have yep. doubled in the UK in 10 yep. years. Canada is wow. getting what? screwed. Australia is getting yeah. screwed. 100, 100 bucks. I can is it's like $100 like a, or something. It's yeah. Dude, it's more in Australia. It's $127 for Demon Souls. Wow. Oh like, wait, 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 wait. Like translation? What a demonic price. 100, 127 Australian dollars, but that still doesn't add up to $70 US. Oh, why? Wait, it still happened? doesn't? No. What, what is that? Do we? How much does that come out to? I have to, I have to know. Yeah. Probably about a hundred US, maybe yeah, a little less. That's ooh, oh, okay. I see it's like it's still more. Huh. Why is okay. there a specific reason why games have like scaled weirdly over there? Uh, uh well, I mean, I, I don't really know. Yeah, I mean, it's like ninety. It's like ninety US dollars. Yeah, though, seven hundred right? four nine. Yeah. Yeah. It's like taxes and shit. Yeah, import tax. Yeah. So it's yeah. it's so games are are still ch- air quotes cheapest here just because there a lot of them are made here. God yeah, bless I guess. The yeah, that, they Sorry, where are we talking about Brazil? Uh, no, uh, no, we're talking Brazil. about Australia, Australia. Oh, and Brazil's yeah, gonna be pretty, pretty much anywhere. Yeah. It's, it's pretty yeah. much anywhere that isn't Japan or the United States is is getting screwed. Yeah, mm-hmm. it might be. Exp- I don't know. Japan sometimes gets really expensive. Some of their games are kind of expensive too, from what I remember. This, this would have like, been a great time to make digital a little bit cheaper for some areas. That's a good maybe, point with but, digital because they get a better yeah, shot man, of it. Yeah, that I kind of wish that that was already the case. Like I'm. I think a lot of us on the on the podcast might feel this way, but I'm definitely not really into the all digital future that we all know is coming. Mm-hmm. But I would be way more like open to to buying into it if digital games were like half the price. Like if yeah. I could buy, you know, Mario all, Mario 3D All Stars for sixty bucks physical or physical or twenty ninety nine for digital, that <laughs> would change my perception. You know, but like that's obviously not the case. <laughs> that was a weird example. Like, obviously, you game for you, Rob. Go fuck yeah. yourself. Sixty dollars, please. Well, I was gonna say even fifty, since games are going up to seventy, I would gladly pay fifty dollars yeah. straight up. I would pay I, I, fifty dollars for a digital yeah. game. Fifty sure. bucks seems to be like a, a good because like the game still they still spent millions of dollars making the game. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I think yeah. fifty would be would be cool if it was like fifty or like fifty five or maybe even it was yeah. just ten dollars off. Like yeah. let's just say it was the standard MSRP that we got for this Anything. generation. Yeah, anything, you know, anything, yeah, anything L- literally anything. It, five dollars. I need a bigger discount. Like, right? I'm yeah. just saying I need a bigger discount because I am so anti-digital that it's like yeah. you got to really <laughs> convince me. But I'm I'm a unique case. I think more people are open to it than I am. So well, really, so the fifty dollars price I, point I like makes physical. I, I, 
I still buy everything that I can get physical. Like the only time I buy digital is like when it's like an overwhelmingly good deal or it's only digital, like mm -hmm. indie games. I don't really For, buy you yeah. know, digital. Rob, I, mean, reason, I, picture, I picture hanging out with you and you're like, hey, let's get in my car and go somewhere. And I'm like, oh, let me pull up some music on iTunes. And you smack it out of my hand. I've got <laughs> CDs, bitch. <laughs> hey, I do have CDs, but surprisingly, <laughs> even even as a musician myself, in music only, I definitely have bought into the, to the I mean, okay, I live yeah. by Spotify, <laughs> well, man. It's, it is my, man. but I pay for it. I do pay for uh, Spotify because, yeah. you know, I've got well, my own music on Spotify. At least well, I I was going to say, at least now that it's $70, we don't have to worry about microtransactions and stuff in the game. So, oh. in theory, John, please. that's, hey, that's problem, what I've been man. hearing. I've been hearing games are too expensive to make. We'll just raise it $10. So, well, there we go. The basketball game is 70 bucks with hella microtransactions. <laughs> yeah. Well, that doesn't make That's not what they told us. That, they said that wouldn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, I will say if ga like games are getting more expensive to make over time, but I think if we were to see like a substantial, like if, if the if the raise on the price applying it to digital, right, especially in the future, if we're going to be nothing but digital, like if we were seeing crazy expansion and development of games or also like, I don't know, the devs were actually paid more. Like if that's what the money went towards, <laughs> I'd have no yes. problem paying $70 yeah, because you're too, working these people to the bone. The publisher's going to the publishers are gonna just take that money. I mean, yeah, that's what I'm saying. De like, devs aren't going to get paid any more money. They're, they're not going to hey, just give pay hey, rises hey, to devs. Hey, Bobby, yeah. Bobby Kotick needs another yacht. All right. So call it the SS. All right. right. Yeah. God. <laughs> that, that that Bobby forty million dollars, <laughs> and he's not and he's not paying his employees forty oh, million, yeah. and he's not problem. paying his employees. Dude. You know, yeah, like right that. Forty million, and he's not paying his employees. That is absolutely Ooh. ridiculous. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so that uh, it was a lot of fun seeing all the fallout after the PlayStation event, just because everything was happening while the pre-orders were going down. So it was just it was a disaster. Yeah. So hopefully everyone who wants a PlayStation Five is able to get one leading up to launch, uh, and they get more stock out there. But yep. it's it's going to be interesting. Nate, you have any any take on the on the price increase before we go to some of the Discord questions and super chats? Uh, no, I mean, it's going to impact buying habits probably for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. If you're going all digital, you might hesitate on a game now. You might say, oh, you know, $7 is a lot for a game I'm going to keep. So it's going to be a game that you know you're going to replay time and time again. But even physical buyers are probably going to have that discussion with themselves now. Mm -hmm. And it will be interesting to see how the consumers react to this. Will it cause, you know, maybe launch sales to be slightly lower than companies would anticipate because the buyer is making a conscious decision to say, I'm not spending $70. I can wait for a sale. And with Sony games, we've kind of become accustomed to the idea that their games go on sale within three months. But now what's a sale price? Oh, is it that's a good point. $50? Is it $60? We yeah, don't know I'm, what I'm they're going to do. I'm waiting for that $50 sale. <laughs> and that, yeah, and now it's like, great. You know, you're going back to the standard pricing that we're used to for your sale. And, you know, if that does happen, that they are discounting games quickly, well, people aren't going to be buying $70 games at launch. They'll wait three months right. and pick it up for $50. Or we see Sony and maybe even third parties say, we're not going to discount games that quickly anymore because we're noticing that when we do, you're buying them. We raise the price to $70 because of you know budgets or whatever they want to tell us. So you have to make back all that money. So maybe now we're looking at six to eight months before we see sales on some of these games. And it's going to come down to how the consumer responds to the price increase. Ooh, what that means that yeah, if they do thirty percent off, it's like fifty bucks. So they could still advertise a thirty percent cut, and oh. they're still selling a fifty dollar game. <laughs> Jesus that's, Christ! Yeah, that's going to be something else there. Oof. I do Evan, not like do, that. do we have a, a Discord question over there, Evan? We have one that might, I guess, be best answered by Misclick. Uh, we have a person who's looking to pick up and is super hyped for the Phoenix Rising game coming out, and he also hasn't played Breath of the Wild yet doesn't have a lot of time so he's wondering if he should just wait for phoenix to come out and play it or if he should put off playing phoenix and play breath of the wild first because he, he likes that style of game but he he wants to like devote a full chunk of time to one or the other hmm. if you don't have a lot of time i mean yeah definitely i would say breath of the wild's very hard to finish quickly if you're big on completing things i would say it really comes down to i would watch gameplay of both of them and see which combat you like better. I don't know how in-depth the story of Phoenix is going to be. <clears throat> Breath of the Wild, even though it's like the most shallow kind of story-wise Zelda game with the amount of cutscenes and stuff, it's still, in my opinion, it could very it could very well be a much more deep lore of a game. But Phoenix's combat is a little bit more evolved. Uh, it's as if they, you know, like added more fighting styles to Breath of the Wild. So if you like 
you know, standard Zelda combat, but you like story, Breath of the Wild might be good. But Phoenix, it's it's got like a lot of familiar elements that Breath of the Wild has, but they build upon it. So like, you know, like Magnesis in, in Breath of the Wild, you can pick up metal objects. Well, in Phoenix, you can pick up almost any kind of object and you can also pull yourself towards enemies and then launch a whole bunch of combos. You can juggle people in the air. So it just, it, it would really come down to is story going to be important to you if you don't know about Phoenix? Is combat going to be important to you? Um, and, and just kind of observe from there. I, I would watch gameplay. Okay. And we have another Discord question, Evan, then I'll go through some of the Super Chats. Thoughts on if Doom Eternal Switch port is still coming this year? I think it's coming out. I, I feel like a good time to bring it out is like Halloween, like around that. Yeah, I, I, I think, think it's over. I think it's November. The original November. Game, I think it's November. Yeah, original Doom came out sure. November. So I think, I think it's November. I think we're going to get a partner direct next month and it's going to be bam they're going to feature it right there on it yep that's how you do it i like some of that do you think we have the dlc day and day thing because the dlc comes out like october 21st do you think they'll just launch the dlc day one with it i don't know about the dlc but i just think oh game, you think that's yeah. a way to make up for for the delay it, it Possible, it's, yeah. the, it's doom complete edition doom eternal Could complete awesome. and it comes to the dlc because they're yep, it's going to be, be really i mean cool. it's going to be 60 bucks and uh right now doom eternal i'm sure has been discounted a couple times already yeah. It's, I think it's 40 for Doom Eternal right now. I think you can get it for okay. 40 or... Okay, 40 or yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, they kept they kept Switch owners waiting for a while where originally the Switch owners thought they were getting it the same day as, like, everyone else. So, that I mean, maybe that's a good way yeah. to do it. Or have some kind of, uh, I don't know, appearance or uh, outfit or something they throw in there that's exclusive. So, and they, I, I assume they'll do something. Let's Ms. go over Click, to... What are, you, what are you eating, Miss Click? That looks disgusting. Daddy! Oh. <laughs> it, it, it looks like... Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, I got to eat with your bare like, hands. Or, like, I just saw... it, it you want me to eat with my bare hands? No, it looks like a bowl like of emotion. If someone, if someone literally does like a hundred dollars super chat, oh, I will eat no, with my hands. Oh gosh, no! Don't do that. You want hundred dollars, John? It, gosh. it looked like just meat soup, and I was about to gag. Oh, it's meat gosh. sauce. You're not completely wrong. Let's uh, let's go to the super chats here. Cheesy says Sony's mistakes lies by Jim Ryan uh, and screw ups on pre-orders should be getting the same energy and calling out as much as the Xbox one launched in 2013. But I feel like most of us are giving him a pass. I, don't know, I feel like a lot of people were on Sony pretty bad the other day. I, I, I think maybe because Microsoft's trans transgressions were a bit worse at a time. It was E3, right? It's well, they tried super... to they tried to put a security camera in our house. Yeah, they tried. They, <laughs> they did that. They were sending people to stores and telling them not to buy certain systems. They were trying to do all like it was even worse with this whole digital thing, right? They were trying to say that you don't really even own your games, even like you have to do a, what was it, online DRM check, you know? Like yeah. they, were, they were doing all sorts of stuff. So I think that it was worse than what we're seeing right now at this point. Sony was misleading us, but Microsoft just straight up said, yo, this is how it is. And if you don't like it, buy an Xbox 360. Like literally, that's what they said. Y'all yeah. <laughs> remember there was that viral picture where like one of the one of the earliest tech videos showing like the technology inside the Kinect showed a guy like doing like a Kinect game and it showed a thermal scan and you could see his entire dick and balls. And so everyone was like, oh, oh that's right. It's a thermal scanner. What? Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh, Google no. it. Just, just, I just that. Thermal just open up a when private browser. I don't know if I need to do say Connect dick pics. There you go. Uh, Spawn hey. wave. I have a question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. No, it has nothing to do with that. Super Mario 64 <laughs> or Super Mario Sunshine. Which do you like more? Which do I like more? Yes. Mm. <laughs> Pick one. That's a good question. The other from Choose here. wisely. That's a good question. I have to. I think because of the nostalgia stake, I got to go with Mario 64. <laughs> you son of a bitch. You were supposed to go with Sunshine. Well, some guy. The only reason so, I'm going with Mario 64, even though I like playing Mario Sunshine more, is because Mario 64 sat with me more because that was the first okay, time. Okay, but you like playing. Okay, so which game would you rather play? Super Mario oh, Sunshine oh, or Mario, Super Mario, Mario 64? Sunshine, Mario Sunshine. Okay, Super Mario yeah, 64 here. Mario Garcia says, I used to respect RGT until he started to agree with everything Spawn Wave says. I want to prove him wrong. Yeah, you, you <laughs> did it. Way to go, I'm John. petty. I'm fucking petty as hell. <laughs> <laughs> uh taker says spawn you have the most emotionless facial expression in your thumbnails please just once do the mouth agape shock youtuber face just one time well he's like Capcom. damned if you do damned if you don't your problem is that you don't show your teeth you're like I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I, man, I don't know why it's just i don't i don't like my smile like i don't know the how dentures to, like, come out when it's really? thumbnail time you don't show your teeth at all there's like no 
recollection of teeth at all in there. Man, because like dentures. when people ask me to smile, like I don't know what to do. Like as a kid, your mouth like, was when, like when, this. when you'd have to smile for pictures, like my mom would have to like pinch me and stuff and be like, "Smile, or you're not getting shit for Christmas." And I'd be like, <laughs> "I don't know how to smile." And like all it my family pictures. Smile on cue, though. Real talk, it is hard to smile on cue for a picture without looking like a doofus. It's hard. Like I, I can't do it. What? <laughs> I can I, do it. Tell you what, if Capcom announces Mega Man Legends 3 and it's coming back, I'll, I'll do it. <laughs> All right. This yeah. is my next I'll, thumbnail. I'll take that thumbnail to the liquify tool so it'll just be huge. <laughs> Mega Man Legends 3. All right, let's do it. Sweet. Uh, yeah, let the clip this. Just people got it, you know? So. <laughs> Sim uh, Symphonic Balance says, even though it wasn't remade, Super Mario 64 having better resolution is good. The tighter controls are nice as well. Helps the experience since the N64 controller tended to develop a loose stick. It did. Cersei Gillia says, uh, how did I miss out on Super Mario Galaxy? This game is blowing my mind. Level design is out of the out of this world. So good. Literally. Much love Spawncast mm -hmm. crew. Yes, the the some of that messes with your mind a bit at times too. It's it's pretty cool. Amazing. With gravity and everything. I had a, I had a roommate that couldn't play it because it made her sick. She's like, I, it makes me just want to vomit. I can see that. Played it. Yeah, I, just kind of the motion actually and stuff. struggling a bit more this time mm. this time playing it through than i did back on the 2007 or whatever it was i i was fine but now i wonder I'm if like, it's harder Ugh. because now we're all playing it in hd on like way Ooh. bigger tvs than in 2007 so maybe it, it's a different i'm playing on my switch Light. i've been playing it on there oh well then there's yeah it looks not, it looks good fun. blown up on tv <laughs> it does yeah rd rdx says series x is 30 dollars cheaper than ps5 in canada trip and fall says the best first gen console was the, Ninten the nintendo color tv6 who's with me wow uh the waltman says 75 dollars. it's the sales tax a game now Jeez, yeah they're getting up there humdrum says no, uh, no one gonna talk about 70 or 80 dollar euro games because sony we just talked about them yeah uh, wolfman says wish me luck i'm going to college tomorrow i'm scared and i might miss some of the streams in the future so love you guys good luck wolfman good luck. You're, going to, you're going to college that's that's a good time that's a good time in your life go yeah, yeah. Fantastic. just enjoy it yeah, yeah enjoy, enjoy it. it get get yeah, a switch it. light so you can still play some stuff when it's on sale man yep uh, have fun there great yeah. Console, console console gamer says rgt buys the ps5 for 4.99 heck yeah also rgt won't buy fall guys for 20 dollars to play I, got it. Song <laughs> I have it free on playstation plus no the problem is you won't buy among us for five dollars true i thought it was free i just it's didn't want to play it because i thought phone. it looked weird now on the pc it's free no because i watched i watched wood stream of that and you guys it, like i watched like when he was did the weird post Malone thing, which I didn't fucking understand. Um, but I watched like the first game and you guys were just uh, criticizing him and saying that he was the killer. And granted he was the killer. No, but I, I, like, know, I knew he was <laughs> like, no man. Cause you would assume even if I'm just minding my own business, look all my life, even though I'm just minding my own business, I get accused of shit. So <laughs> that's the fun though. I, uh, fun. I think you'd be, I think no. you'd be good at the game, Sean. I don't, I don't know. If Sean I'm a good liar. Like a mastermind dude. Yeah, I, I, I feel know. like, I feel like Sean I mean, would, would, would suspect Why Sean get more upset than, about than being people guilty, suspect, suspect me about You can't get upset everything. when you're guilty. Yeah. Like, I think that's the, that's the thing people like, and that, that's what happened on my stream. They always just suspected it was me. And like, mm. they just, you know, so I got body. Uh, <laughs> Console Gamer says, uh, not buying the PS5 at launch anymore uh, since Miles Morales can be played on PS4. Can't wait to play as the best Spider-Man. True. A plus, A plus says I'll just buy my next gen games at Walmart for sixty dollars. Yeah, the the oh, that's rough. The the discount at Walmart then just brings it to sixty if they mm. even do it. Yeah, good point. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pitch says Nate and MVG loving the podcast. MVG, thanks for representing us Aussies. Also, as always, misclick much love. Hey Pico, had fun, man. Uh, Pico Aussie, Aussie, was, uh, Aussie. Yeah, boy, P boy, boy. Pico, Pico. Keep Keep he, uh, I call him Pico. Keep but, the hate. Okay. He, he played. Got, he played like ten hours of Among Us on a stream the other day, and we might have had a couple drinks. Oh. So, yeah, it was great. B Bummer. Rob says Sunshine's agility is the best game breaking too. Zoop says, "Well, uh, will I, will I watch Miss Click play Death Loop?" Listen, man, I already feel like I've been playing Death Loop. They literally keep showing us the exact same thing mm. every single time. I feel like I'm in a Death Loop. I just want to play the game now, and it's not coming out until quarter two. So maybe, yeah. unless they show another trailer, and I'm tired of it, and I just don't want to touch it. I really thought maybe. that was a launch game. 
I would think so too. They were supposed to be. No, but they okay, did, they, okay. they, they, they quietly delayed it. it. They yeah, did delayed, a tweet yeah. delay. Everything's a tweet now. Yeah. Mm. Then uh, sure. Nathan says, I feel as if Xbox PS5 both are being pushed in a way to benefit the casual players. Here is the new console. Get it if you can or buy it next year. Well, I think the Series S is like the big casual gamer push for Madden mm-hmm. and Call of Duty and stuff. It makes sense. $300. Yeah. So that's yeah. a good deal. Juice Man Vons, even actually even the digital version, even though it doesn't have a disc drive for the PS5, that's still a pretty good price for the technology in that system at 400. Yeah, so. that's 400, yeah. yeah. Juice Man Vons says, not a fan of what I've heard and seen with Final Fantasy 16 combat. Is it fair to say that mainline Final Fantasy will ever be turn-based ever again? I would, oh, it's, it's I, I don't think it's ever going back to that. No, if you want that, look towards Dragon Quest from now on. Because yeah. I thought it looked fun, though. I, it looked, what was that? It looked very, it looked very action-oriented <laughs> for what I was yeah. saying. Yeah. Do, don't make any assumptions yet. Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, okay. Uh, it might go back, but I mean, I, I I don't see I don't see them personally ever going. I think going, Final Fantasy, uh, it just it just became a bit too mainstream. I guess I don't know the point where did, they felt like they couldn't do just turn based traditional. I'll I'll tell you a, a rumor. Uh, so, uh, Square Enix really wants to try and recapture as many of the classic fans as possible. That's hmm. the word going around. It's that Final okay. Fantasy 16 is kind of their way of. What they know, should do then is yeah, make fun, is do a Final Fantasy it? Tactics. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that would get us. Back. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't they do a turn-based game then if they're trying I mean, to? Recapture may, it? Maybe it is. Maybe, yeah. maybe it is. Okay. I mean, it looks yeah. all it looks all flashy and dramatic. Maybe people are doing turn-based. They're just not standing in a straight line to do it. I mean, yeah. I have. I have such little experience with Final Fantasy, but to me, it just looked like a souped up Final Fantasy seven. Well, that's what, what the they, combat reminded me of. Mm. What, what, well, it's also I mean, Final Fantasy 15, like the guy like does a lot of teleporting stuff. You can, you can do that in Final Fantasy 15 as well. But it, mm-hmm. I mean, what maybe Jim guess guy, are you alluding to like you select an action, then they just do that. And then they stop and then they select another action. I don't know. I just, it seems like that's, what, that's, that's the only way that what you'd be talking about works. I'm only here to talk about Mario Sunshine. That's everything else. So Dreamcast guy is saying this, chat. Dreamcast so Mario- guy is saying that this is how this game could possibly work, that you select an action, then he just does it. Then you watch him do that move, and then it goes back to like a Big static animations. screen. And then you could potentially move around in there in between, then pick your action. So it's maybe a little bit of a hybrid, maybe. 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 Yeah, that sounds maybe good. Yeah, that sounds, like, that sounds like a good mix. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm just guessing. So. <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's what they're doing that actually be pretty cool because you would maybe uh you could get some of the old school fans with that and then you can also of course get the people that just like to see people well and, and they could move away. they could put some distance in the brand uh between that way you'd have if you want pure action you'll have final fantasy 7 remake part 2 and if you want mm-hmm. more standard turn based mm-hmm. then you have 16 mm-hmm. okay. uh wreck it both Reckon coming out in 100 years <laughs> Reckon. this this one's gonna be sooner this one's gonna be sooner. So 50 years it might not go ahead it might be next. It might be next yeah, year. That it's out. Uh, <laughs> Racket I, Ralph just to put a little bird there. That's kind of cool. A little emoji bird. Audible says, did any of you get the pre-order from Sony? Weird process, but that's how I got mine. I did not. I didn't even get oh, an email. email? No. Yeah, I didn't even get an email. You got to be like a super like PlayStation, like, you know, like it was completely choice. random. I thought, no, it was like, it was got, com- I thought it was based off of your PSN. It's completely like, nope. random. It was completely oh. random. Yeah. I actually had a okay. friend um, who got who got theirs that way, and he like detailed the process for me, showed me a bunch of pictures, and just telling me how it went. Okay. Mm-hmm. Alcatraz cool. says, "Why is no one upset over the Spider-Man remaster not being a free update for PS4 owners, but flip tables over Control Ultimate Edition, a game that made significantly less money?" I think mm. everybody. I think people are mad. I, I think I, that's I, what I, I saw a lot of people frustrated about that. There's yeah. a hierarchy of anger with the Sony stuff, and that's kind of lower. Well, if you, I mean, yeah, that is weird because it's a first party game as well. So you figure they would have done it to try to push more people towards mm-hmm. the PS Five. So it's like, did you already buy Spider Man? You just get a free update if you pop it in. So well, that's part to be part of their backwards compatibility stuff anyway, right? It, especially, I think it would also it helps sell the game if you just straight up been like, "Hey, it's a seventy dollar game. Here's the thing: we already finished. We already made this original Spider Man. It's thrown in for free if you buy the PlayStation Five version." That seems so obvious. So we have Derek say, "Should be worried. About, should we be worried about a red ring type of situation with either console?" We kind of talked always. about that a little bit. MVG. Well, yeah, always. Yeah, uh, with with the PS Five, we're concerned about the series. X, I, well, the Series S I'm least concerned about, probably, I would say. But the Series X is going to be interesting, too, just the way it's put together. But I, the PS5, something about that system is is 
I, yeah. I, concerning i don't know what it, i don't know i, I have to see it's the inside the and the design i mean probably when it's yeah. got a disk drive yeah there's just that much more chance you know it happens almost every console generation there's i need to see the inside ones. of that system before i can tell you either way if i'm concerned about it because like their cooling solution's been talked up quite a bit so mm. if it if it's weird inside and like it's, it's going to be the first generation of this new way that they're going to go about powering the system so it's it's going to be weird um we'll we'll see i mean either way like like click is doing you can just wait a little bit because some of these games are going to be a the ps4 unless you really need demon souls you're you're probably okay waiting then can i think this is what i was telling for me personally the reason why i'm waiting is as much as i'd like to play those games i'm really big on i would get it if there were games i really really cared about being spoiled on but yeah. most of these games they're not really going to be spoiled for me so i'm okay like playing them after the fact and later if there were yeah. games that were coming out with it only on ps5 and i didn't right. want the storyline spoiled i had a high chance of it being spoiled of course i'd do it but just nothing Would right now spider-man be one of those if spider-man was ps5 only do you think you'd do it i told chat honestly no <laughs> oh wow what about okay. like i think i think it's i think it's awesome but he's spider-man He's gonna save the day. He's gonna win. The combat's the gonna be fun. Yeah, I love that for the combat traversal. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think that, I, I like honestly that. think there's gonna be because did you do the hundred percent file on the original click? Did you see the Venom tease? No, it mm. no, it it takes it takes a lot for me to ever one hundred percent again. I think Venom Venom will probably be in the second one, right? I, well, well, I, yeah. I think they're gonna set him up more in this one. I think we're gonna get. I think cool. we're I think they're gonna we're gonna full blown see Venom at this game, and then we'll fight him in. I mean, we're pretty sure this Morales. is. Yeah, I think we're you gonna might, see. Yeah. I think we'll see Venom for a second. Fully like the symbiote, well, like come down. I, I think. I, I think we're gonna see the whole like rise of Venom, and then we're gonna actually fight him in Spider Man Two. Cool. I'm not huh. like. I mean, I've watched into the Spider Verse. I'm not into the comics as much as all. Is mm -hmm. Venom already been introduced in that whole world and everything? With, it was. With it was yes. in a cutscene related yeah. to a side story. Or they no, they they the show story. where who who is it that's missing? It's Harry Osborn it's, that's missing, it's, right? Yes, Osborn's son. They're, they're like, yeah. where is he? He has been missing, and they show they show him inside a tank and you can't yeah, see sick. within the tank and he's like i'm so sorry that you're sick and then you see the symbiotes like tentacles reaching for the glass like it's trying okay. to get to oh, it yeah yeah that's like that's not even 100 percent. that's it? not 100 that's literally it to it. just if you beat it it shows you yeah. oh is it yeah I thought they, yeah, I thought yeah, yeah. Were okay finishing the harry osborne say... uh, things my bad but yes, yeah well, that i saw that yeah yeah yep uh, so yeah i've been cool. wondering if honestly peter parker is going to show up in miles morales I think, I think he has to. Yeah, I, I yeah. think he's going to show up at the beginning, like, like "Hey, man, cameo. good good luck with your own game. I'm going to be over here on vacation." <laughs> yeah. And then he swings away. So. <laughs> See you in part two. My coverage yeah. doesn't include Harlem anymore. <laughs> or be funny if it was only recycled clips. How is it going, Miles? <laughs> <laughs> I only get one paycheck. Demo Demolition Man says, "I think Nintendo will have three titles over 30 million units." And five titles over 20 million units sold. I think 80 million Switch Plus by fiscal year's end. By the end of March, school year. Oh, maybe that's a it lot. I mean, I don't know, it's a lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see about that by the end of end of next March. But I I think it's possible. Yeah, I, I, it is. Jake with uh, no message. Thanks, Jake. Jonah says, so, "Oh, <laughs> sometimes letting people think something is true is as bad as lying." Abraham Lincoln shaved potato chip. In that one recess recess episode. <laughs> 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 thanks, thanks, Jonah. Hmm. Troy, Troy says I'm here for a WWE 2K Battlegrounds discussion. We had it earlier. Sean told us all about it. He's like, he it. likes it. He likes. It's not it. bad. It's not bad. T. Joe's. Are you doing a video on it? I plan to. Yes. Okay. There we go. You have to check out Sean's video when he drops it. T. Joe says, "P.S. Is that going to be on the full the main channel or the tables, ladders, and Sean?" That would be on the full channel. Oh, you know, that's not a bad idea, though. Because <laughs> people might be searching for that. On both. Yeah, yeah. On both, man. <laughs> a little bit of cross promotion there. Yeah. yeah, and then you can claim yourself. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> claim myself. No, claim RGT with table like, ladders RGT and Sean. RGT claims my video. <laughs> no, do it the other way around. Do like this uh -huh. wrestling channel. And then the yeah. thumbnail's like, <laughs> TJ says PS2 games like Wild Arms 3 and the Jack series were resold on PSN and playable on PS4. I think they'll be playable on PS5. Through PS well, the thing is PS now you can actually download PS2 games and play them. So I bet mm. you I bet you they will do that, but they'll still stick to this whole no backwards compatibility beyond PS4 thing. And it's it's I, strange. Yeah. Well, I think I think they're going to do that case by case. I think they're yeah. going to stuff they fully own or like how Rockstar Rockstar loves to sell old Grand Theft Autos. I think that'll be on PS5. Joel says, love the shirt, OJ. 
Oh, thank you. He's a and boring then, JoJo, but he's still. Cool. <laughs> and then <laughs> Victor Victor says, uh, "How was that gift from Microsoft, John? It was su surprising that they send that kind of stuff out to people, but it'll make for a fun video when I check out the the Razer Kishi and the and the Note playing XCloud and stuff. So I think checking out the Razer controller with it will be really really cool. But it was very nice of them. They sent like along a Game Pass Ultimate one year thing too, and I'll probably just give that away in the video. So there'll be a code in there somewhere." Aiden Quinn says, so those Cyberpunk 2077 PC requirements can't tell you how many times people kept telling me I'd need a 2080 to run it. My RX 580 has found a rival. Well, the, I mean, it's also apparently going to run on the on Nate's Xbox One VCR, so. <laughs> eh. And then Randall Thor says digital games are half price. Game share for the win. He, he's right. got he's already ahead of the game here, Sean. Say you, you need to be Randall sponsored, Thor. Ran. Games, sponsored by Game Share. He knows. He knows. He's got to figure it figured out. All right. Let's, Evan, we got a Discord question. I'm going to pull up the Nintendo showcase and we'll go to that. All right. We'll go with our metal. We got a guy who does Metal Gear questions of the week. If you haven't noticed okay. these past couple of weeks, favorite boss from the Metal Gear series, and you cannot choose Mantis. Oh, I was going to choose Mantis. I was going to choose Mantis as well. I'm going to say, oh. what, what's in Metal Gear Solid 3? The Death, is that his name? The guy where if you kill more people, his boss fight is longer because you have to oh, fight. Yeah. Sorrow. Yeah. The Sorrow, the Sorrow. Yeah, the Sorrow. I think the idea of the Sorrow is so cool. I mean, the boss fight is, is practically an interactive cutscene, but I still think it's such an interesting idea. Mm. Okay. I, I like the ending of Metal Gear Solid 2. Just like all of that with the ride, like the, the whole the part. Yeah, like that exactly. That fight, yeah, was so was so great. That was really cool, and also like the Rock'em Sock'em robot part in um, Metal Gear Solid Four with the trash <laughs> controls at the very end, yeah. just like just being they're, they're so bad, but it was great. It was just like a great fight. Too. So I would say, like I mean, I'd probably just go with the final. I guess the boss in Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah, yeah. We're, we're literally fighting the boss the, the, <laughs> in, in the, the field. I mean, that that's so oh, good. that one. Oh, dude, that's that's so that good. You're right. The, the end. The end in Metal Gear Solid Three. Yeah, that, that's what. I, that's what I just. But that's what I just said, gotta, right? You, oh, yeah, did no, you? No, 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 no. The, where you're in the field and you're fighting the boss, thought, and like there's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's like the best. That's the best. Yeah, that's the best. Now we're, now we're agreeing again. <laughs> I, Mario, I, I, or whatever his name is, going to get pissed set up off for four, though. Like when no, Snake's no. getting incinerated and he's like crawling for his life. Oh, that yeah. to me was just like. There's all stuff for this man, you know. There's also I, the the boss battle where he against the the chopper where he flips off the rocket, jumps. Yep. And that was in um what you call it Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes where they had all yep. those cutscenes oh, that were yeah. ridiculous, and he flipped off of the rocket and backflipped and shot it with a rocket. I, I <laughs> like that. that. And also when the tank <laughs> shoots, when he steps outside and the the tank shoots the shell at the ground, and he does a twenty five foot jump back. Yeah. It's like just like yeah. just cat cash it's, so, it's, it's so funny in Twin Snakes too because it's like it's you versus a. F fudging metal game. you're like all right go beat a freaking yeah. nuclear weapon <laughs> like, he like, like that, destroy worlds he did, that scene in, he did that scene though against sniper wolf where he did the backflip landed the gun flipped up just right did three spin arounds and shot her down. <laughs> <laughs> imagine that guy going into metal gear so, like a metal gear solid so oh, ridiculous <laughs> well i always i always like the way they did the the scene where uh uh, Gray Fox jumps up in the air, Cyber Ninja, and he chops the ceiling and oh, then does yeah. a backflip and kicks the ceiling yeah. at you. Oh, and you yeah, matrix. Dude, like, can you imagine just like, mm, the ceiling? You'll yeah, I was, that, the PS5 only one I've ever remake. played is that game. Yeah, the only one I've ever played is that game, and that was the exact one. <laughs> you, you do not have appropriate so context. You do not have context. Well, then I probably are so great. Oh, they're because they were so out there. They're so stupid, but they were just amazing. Yeah. <laughs> like I'll, you sit down and just watch the cutscenes on YouTube because people clip them up. It's amazing. It's so good. Uh, uh, let's go over to the Nintendo showcase for the partner showcase that happened this week. That was on the that was on the seventeenth so thursday yes we had several announcements here that may have been a bit surprising to some people i i think we've been talking about monster Hunter for a while though on this on this podcast i know nate you brought it up forever ago it feels like right we talked about capcom working on monster yeah, i feel probably... like, like six seven months it's, it's been it was a long time ago yeah it's probably been about a year yeah so there you go monster Hunter rise it's finally announced and they kept it pretty quiet up right up until what we're six months out from launch now for when it's coming out march yep. 26 but that is that is the switch's exclusive monster Hunter game that capcom's been working on built on the re engine mm -hmm. which is an interesting reveal to hear about that that they have officially moved that engine over now i don't think they're gonna go back 
and do anything with it. Like, I don't think they're going to go get like Resident Evil Remake 2 or anything like that. I think they'll just go forward with it. But I mean, it looked it looked good using that engine on the Switch. Like, if you look at that game compared to what you like, what they've done with what what they do, mm-hmm. Old, Generations Ultimate, which was a 3DS mm-hmm. game. Obviously, yeah. this looks significantly better. Uh, yeah. You actually you actually seemed like super impressed with the visuals, Sean, when, when you first saw it. I was. I, I mean, for for a monster. For a Monster Hunter game, I mean, because really, when you look at Monster Hunter games, they've never been before World. They never were really, you know, all that yeah. graphically sort of impressive. Where this has a hell of a lot more sort of flair and just it, it looked, it looked like a traditional Monster Hunter, but like a uh, a different traditional Monster Hunter. It looked, I, it, yeah, it looked fast. It looked like a lot of you were very agile. Yeah, with that, yeah like, like the whole new bug. traversal system and shit. Yeah, the wire yeah. bug stuff is what makes me more excited. Like the. Tra- the traversal part is is pretty cool, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and did they not did they not confirm that it's a seamless world the way Monster Hunter they, World yeah, is? They com- yes. Yeah, they confirmed. Oh, yes, which is true. so exciting. A lot of hardcore Monster Hunter fans kind of push against that idea, which I have no idea why. They, they I just think enjoy World getting an amazing between game. load screens while fighting. Monster. <laughs> the load yeah, and, and I love classic. I love classic Monster Hunter, but I think World was the step in the right direction. Mm-hmm. It still stayed like true to the roots. It has a very hardcore RPG kind of barrier of entry. But everything else, they lowered the barrier of entry, and it's a lot of fun. And it seems like this is a really cool combination of the old and the new, you know, plus I, I the, think, the guide bug thing. I think it, it's going to be cool. People don't realize this, but if you look at the numbers, isn't Monster Hunter World is now the best selling Capcom game of all time, of all right? Time. It's yeah, not as good. Yeah. Like that, which I that, think before was Resident Evil 5. Didn't that have the title for like a really long I thought time? It was, I thought it was six. Or that's maybe it was really six. bad. Yeah, yeah, but but five. that's the thing yeah. is that five. <laughs> It was five. So it that's was five is was the the best selling Capcom game of all time. I think until that. Monster Hunter World. Right? Yeah, yeah, five was the best selling game of all time yeah. until Monster Hunter World came out of nowhere and just mm-hmm. yeah. Which is so good. I think it was smart. They they made it slightly more casual, and I know a lot of the really hardcore people are upset by it. But I loved World. I thought World did that balance. Man, this new game. Yep. The fact that it's also running, it's confirmed now. It's running on a customized RE engine, so it's going to actually have that like cool shine effects and stuff. So clearly, that trailer was really impressive. Yep. Uh, yeah, yep. It's it looked, it looked good. Yeah. Then we had Monster Hunter Stories Two. That's actually going to come out probably a couple months after rise drops because that's coming out in the summer so this is more of an rpg focused game it was it's what the sequel basically to the 3ds game so which was a really good game i was gonna ask if anyone played it yeah it's a really good game it's really it's just on the three the problem is that it was just on the 3ds late it was really late on the 3ds but it's actually a really good turn-based rpg i I, I oh okay i never even saw it i had no idea what it was yeah. yeah, I remember it came out. I remember when it came out on the 3DS, but I, I didn't really pick it up or try it out or anything. Yeah, so. the 3DS was already dead by the time that it came. It was yeah. I think yeah. it was 2017 or 2018. 2018 when that game came out. Uh, it was like the, 20, I think 2016. 2016. Mixed with kind of like Pokemon, sort of yeah. thrown in a little bit of that thrown in there. So I forgot when I played it, but I, I played and beat it through. So and we had Ori. That's good to know. Ori closed out. Ori Will and the West closed out, and that was out immediately. Like they just dropped it on the eShop. So that was that was great to see that. And Very it runs cool. 60 frames per second. Nate, you seem pretty happy about that, about that getting dropped. Yeah, it was supposed to be announced and uh, supposed to be announced in August. And they held it back for this event. I've been actually I played it this week. The performance, it still has issues. You get to the busy sections and the frame rate crashes, but mm. okay. they, it's still a pretty impressive port for the most part. I mean, it has the same issues that the original version had at launch. It's in the same troubled areas, but it's still it's still an outstanding game, and it you know it deserves strong sales on the Switch because it's an outstanding Metroidvania. Okay. Yeah, it's honestly my personal game of the year. Still, it's my favorite game I've played. Mm-hmm. I played through it on the Xbox yeah. One. I remember uh, the Xbox One X. I remember MVG. You were talking about waiting because the performance issues were there. But yeah. you're getting RTX 3080 at some point, right? So there you go. Well, yeah, well, that I'll, I'll just get it on the Series X and play it at yeah. 120 yeah. frames. Per second. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. I'm, uh, so I'm definitely going. gonna revisit that game because I, I really enjoyed it. But I just, I just kind of put it down. But I'll check it out for sure. The performance yeah. was the problem, but it's so fun. Such a good game. And we had Fitness yep. Boxing 2, Rhythm and Exercise. Disgaea 6, that is going to be an exclusive on the Switch. And they're going to have Disgaea 5 as... Can, can we talk game. about the weirdness with that game, though? We need to talk... Because I think people are confused with that game. Exclusivity that it has. Oh, okay. What, what's the word there? What's up? Okay, so here's the deal with that game. The game is exclusive here in the West on the Switch. In Japan, the game is coming to PlayStation 4 
and it's coming to Switch, and I think there's going to be English in the PlayStation 4 version, so you will be able to import it. NIS recently said that they uh, they have no word on the Western version of Disgaea, which hmm. pissed off a lot of the, the nerds and weebs and blah, 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 otakus, whatever you want to call them, because Disgaea made its name on oh, PlayStation nice. brand. Yep. And now they're saying, oh, well, it's not coming to the West. Um, and I just think, just real quick, I think it's because of the shift of what's going on. Disgaea 5, I think, sold more in the West on the Switch than it did on PlayStation. So yeah. they've kind of seen a little bit of a... Uh, shift with some of the with the disgaea brand but i don't know why but that, that that's it's such a weird thing that it's not coming over to the you know to the to yeah. the ps4 in the west right now at least not you know that's it's, interesting it's maybe yeah. they maybe they had so much they could do for development and they had to pick one basically and they were like which one's coming first and then we'll move the other one over next year or something if, uh, if it's already in english and if it turns out to be in english and japanese like, like, like let's say they support it there like the fact that they didn't even do like a digital release, like okay, yeah, you don't want to do a digital yeah. release, but not even a digital, you know, that so that's weird. that's weird. Yeah, I may I may import it because I like to play everything on PlayStation. I can if it works and it's in English, I'll probably import it. That's really weird. Hmm. Then we had Balan Wonder World, which is Sean's AAA Nights game. It is coming. God, <laughs> it looks good. Sexy, like, yeah. dude, me, Sean. I feel like me and you are the biggest cheerleaders in the world for that. It looks good. Same game looks so good. Monster Hunter Rise. Same, same yeah, day. Yeah, it is. No, you're right. Yeah, March 26th or first. Yeah, day. March 26th. Hmm. Yeah. What are you All gonna right. do, Sean? Which one are you playing first? Um, probably Balan because it'll be a shorter game. I'm sure. Yeah. All right, then I'll do then I'll do Monster Hunter so we can divide the views up. There we go. We'll each get a viral mm-hmm. video and then do the opposite. And then we had Rune Factory Five. I haven't played a Rune Factory game in a long time. That's coming out in 2021. It's been a, yes, it's been a long time. I, I still think they're cool games though. Like uh, it's better than a standard mon- um, Harvest Moon style game because there's combat. There's more combat RPG elements and all that. Yeah. You know? And long the long dark already out. I don't know if you grabbed it, Sean, or I remember you talking about think like thinking about I, grabbing it, but I haven't yet just because I've been busy with Mario and uh, Battlegrounds. But I do want to play it. I've heard actually very good things I've, about the game. I've had it on PC for a while. It's it's good. You might like it if you're into like survival and like really hard survival games. We had Empire of Sin and then Hades. Hades came out immediately. On Empire the- of Sin has been designed by John Romero, who uh, did Doom. So Who's I'm going gonna, gonna, gonna to check that out. And and he did Diakatana and made you his bitch. Come on. Come on. Suck it down. I, I've got newfound respect for him after watching that high score documentary. So I might have to check that out. Yep, Empire of Sin, that's going to be out in December. And then Hades did release basically right after it. I picked it up, just check it out, because I was curious. That means it also left early access, Evan, as well. So that, that I'm, I've been hearing that game is freaking amazing, right? It, is, isn't I, it like number one for I'm digital only games? For I, th- I, right played, I played it for two hours so far, and I see why people are liking it, because it is, it is like that roguelike style game. So you go through several rooms until you die and then you go back and the idea it seems so far is that you are building up even like your home base kind of as well sort of as you go through uh, the combat the combat's pretty good i've only had a few weapons given to me so far but as you go through you get new perks and abilities and all of this as well so i like i have to play more of it before i can absolutely say it's like this amazing game that people really really like but i, I can at least see why people are enjoying it did you did you get it on steam evan uh, not yet, but I mean, it is the guys that made Bastion, and I love the hell yeah. out of that game. So it has that same that. kind of look to it from yeah. like top down isometric sort of and all that. Yeah, yeah they, so. they keep refining that. I mean, Bastion, Transistor, Pyre, and Hades, it all kind of is that same visual style. Yeah. So, like, the problem was I got it, and then like that, I think it was that night the Mario collection came out. So I only played it for like two hours and I had to shelve it for the Mario collection. So I'm going back to it soon uh, as, I, as I'm still working through the Mario collection. And then we had Sniper Elite 4 got announced for the Switch. And I think that was that was everything. So whatever, what do you guys think of the, the overall partner showcase here? It was good. I think Five. Nintendo's finally good. starting to get their rhythm with these partner showcases. I liked it. Thought it was the best one they've they've had to date. And yeah, I uh, thought it was a solid, solid show. By far their best third party partner presentation and now of course you're going to have people analyzing it they're like well the, the first two that weren't all that spectacular shimigami tensei 5 aside even though they didn't show any gameplay for shimigami tensei 5 um uh 
you know, they were just stealth drops, but this one was announced and, you know, Nintendo, you know, did a, a live premiere of it instead of just a, uh, you know, a random video oh, drop, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yep. So people are going to start analyzing that, but yeah, I thought it was, it was, it was it hit all the right. I mean, really <laughs> when you start out with two monster hunter games and monster hunter mm-hmm. rise looked as good as it did, like everything else was just yeah. extra for me at that point. I was like, okay, yeah, I don't give a fuck what the rest of this show has that those two games right there. Just, you know, set the tone. And I, that, I think that's the reason it was live streamed. They announced this at prime time for Japanese audiences. They wanted the Japanese audience to watch because it was about Monster Hunter. So probably future partner showcases will still just be shadow dropped unless they have a substantial third party game that's going to be the focus oh, of the show. Yeah. Look forward to the live stream ones that if they say they're going to live stream it, tune in. <laughs> that's that's what's yeah. I, I also think a, a huge factor for this one that also made it feel like a much better show, which it was, is starting with the big game. Yep. I think, you know, I mean, A, you're already dropping two new Monster Hunter games, so that's just big news just because. But it's also the first thing they did. And they announced a follow-up direct right after, just focused on that. So you have, you open with those big games, which is already exciting. So you start off on a great foot. And then you have, in my opinion, the rest of the show was kind of on par with some of the other ones. I'm not saying that's good or bad. I just feel like it was on par. And then it also ended with a really good game, too. So I think sandwiching it really kind of made a difference for a lot of people. It made a difference for me. And it made me wonder, I tweeted about this too, I wonder if if they opened with Shimigami Tensei in the first one, if people would have even felt better about that, potentially. Mm, you know? I, I don't think it would have made a difference, to be honest, just because Shimigami Tensei think... isn't Monster it's Hunter. Monster. And I, yeah, I've stated this multiple times, it's based on what you like. It's based mm-hmm. on what's popular. Right. If you don't like this, yeah. then it's not going to be good, no matter how many other people like that. Because Shimigami mm-hmm. Tensei 3 Nocturne is an amazing game, but nobody played that game, so therefore right. I don't yeah. care. Shimigami yeah. Tensei 5 is... Nobody played Shin Megami Tensei 4. Like, so many few people played that game. So when they see 5, it's like, okay, yeah. well, we knew about this game years ago. And they, like Sean said, they didn't show gameplay. Now, if they would have showed awesome, crazy gameplay, you know, then, okay, maybe it's different. But it's based on what people like. People love Monster Hunter, <laughs> so therefore, better show. Which is why I was saying, like, the, the PlayStation, but I know this is different, but, like, the PlayStation Directs that they used to, what are they called? State of Play? State, state of, of Play plays yeah. will be better <laughs> when they get better games. You know, it's not, it's not right. nothing wrong with the State of Play. It'll just be better when they get better games so that's really what it comes down to is that and i mean this this partner showcase was also aided by the fact that nintendo had finally communicated since the release of paper mario we finally had new information about pikmin 3 we had hyrule warriors we had a 3d all-star collection everything that we had been waiting months to hear about nintendo finally announced these games and gave them release dates and now the partner showcase is coming up they're not going to have all that anticipation of finally nintendo's going to give us something now it's you can kind of just enjoy it as a third party show and see what you know partners are bringing to the switch so that's kind of helped us too yep it's true it felt like additional content because you're right all of the maybe with the exception of pikmin i can't remember when that was announced but all the mario stuff and hyrule warriors was communicated to us between the last show and then this most recent one so yeah well, I, think you're right. I, th- I think that's why i like the partner showcases so much is because they don't have to like wait uh to save all these game announcements for like a main direct now now they have these own little ones so it's like we've had what three now but they've been mm-hmm. sprinkled so like i don't know like I-, I like how they've been sprinkled like it's kept us kind of like even if they're not things you're necessarily excited about like i will say i've never really played monster hunter or like mm-hmm. really like been intrigued to play it so for me it was like i understand a lot of people are excited about it but i was just like oh that's cool you know but like i I understand that it's gonna be like that for different people during different directs you know but i do like how they can just announce all these third-party games separately versus having to be in one giant ball like they kind of used to be with main directs yeah so i i didn't even make a video about this direct i thought this direct was was good it was very good i think it was smart of them though to just kind of drop it like they just right. dropped a, an announcement at 3 a.m and they went hey uh, when yep. you wake up there's going to be a, a direct i don't know i thought it was good i i think it was all about that monster hunter though like if, if monster hunter yeah. hadn't been there that was that's the only reason i tuned in and i'm glad i saw it jordan you like mm-hmm. anything in this direct anything stand out to you that was good? are you alive jordan are you awake talk to us yeah uh monster hunter that's coming that's pretty cool you gonna, are you gonna play monster Hunter? you're gonna play monster on this with jordan get a bunch of people yeah, I, running. Pl- I, pl- I played a i played a yeah. like like 10 to 12 hours of world before i you know had to move on to another game but I, and i enjoyed it so yeah i'm down yeah, i remember you were talking about world and this one sounded a little more like it did so you, i figured i was like ah, oh, jordan might did actually you play the single player jordan or did you play the multiplayer i mean i was doing the main story but i played it with okay. people i played it with a couple friends so nice. do we think nice. do we think we're gonna get another one of these 
in October and November, maybe December I, or yes. October. I, do. For sure. I think October. Yeah, I think yeah. there will be another one in October just to finish up the rest of the year. And then maybe, I mean, do they really need them if regular directs come back next year? Probably um, not. Unless they have so like many Hyrule. games to unload. Yeah, November's yeah. like Hyrule Warriors. So it's like, that's yeah. going to be like the big thing. So maybe they're going to be good with that. But you never know. I mean, uh, they usually stop doing the direct strike after September's usually the fall direct. And they don't really have another one after yeah. that in normal right. years, right? Yeah, yeah. that's why. And then it's and then it's done. But I yep. think that we could see, like Click said, like a uh, Super Smash Brothers presentation. Mm. If the character's coming out in December, if it's late, um, then we could see that maybe in November or something Dude, like that. Dude, I I'm sometimes like forget too. about Smash characters. I, I yeah. just forget that that's what? a thing, you know. It hasn't even been that long. I know. I mean, it hasn't, but I just this sometimes year, This year's felt long. Yeah. Yeah, yeah this yeah. year is 10 years long already, so. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, I, 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 oh, sorry. No, you go, go ahead, John. No, no, go, 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 go. I was just going to say, like, I forget about the Smash character thing, and then someone brings it up, like you did, OJ, and I'm like, oh, yeah, like, that's a thing that every couple of months we should expect, and we still have five more to expect. So it, it just yep. gets me re-excited when I remember that that's a thing. Yep, Sakurai will take care of it. He'll, he just sets up the camera and, like, two lights in his house, and it looks like a professional yep. studio. It's like, oh, Once we get it, Travis it touchdown, I don't know. You get right. Travis <laughs> touchdown, I'm a happy camper. I'm a, it's I'm a, a monster crying hunter, dude. I'm telling you, man. Oh, <laughs> man. <laughs> it's a monster guy it's gotta be if there's no way that there is oh. a monster hunter i think it's okay. what about a national chain person i think it's okay to bring in uh travis touchdown though yeah that'd be awesome. oh, i might be Travis, oh, I... but there's there's yeah, no way there's not gonna be a monster uh, like a like a base monster hunter in in smash ultimate like there, I hope I, there has to be i hope God, those games no sell really well i would love cool would that be? for national like, chain i would love it yeah. dual yeah, like control yeah. Well, and okay. think about it. Just like with uh, Byleth, it's just every male other female. color you choose is male and female. Like it just writes mm -hmm. itself. I don't think I don't so, think we have enough Fire Emblem characters in there though. So we might have to get another Stop. one of those. Stop. <laughs> listen, listen, we should just make the before. new Fire Emblem game. Oh, we ahead. can use Tiki. If Tiki was announced, people would not be mad at that because she turns into yes, a dragon no. and she I, she has magic. No, she's not a sword. It's it's because they're mad because it's a sword user. Somebody who uses a sword. If bro, it was Tiki, they're... people would not be as. Violet uses an axe and a lance and that's a bow different, and arrow. Though. His, his does... main weapon is the sword of the creator. Yeah, but... If it was Tiki, she turns into a dragon. It's female character, so that's one other thing. One, one thing, female character. She, she's yeah. and she turns into a dragon. I think people would not be as mad as a normal. No, we'll, 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 we'll have to. We'll, as check, mad. we'll check Twitter on that one. <laughs> Just because it's Fire Emblem, that's all they need to hear, and people will be like, I don't oh. know who the hell Tiki is. They just... I don't, dude. I'll, I'll be honest. I, 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 don't know. I don't know a single Fire Emblem character. They've all fallen out of my head. They could be like, This is Bujaba. And I'm like, Cool. I love him. What I love Bujaba. Bujaba's actually, Bujaba, Bujaba's no, actually pretty good. If you play the. No, I'm joking. You shut it. <laughs> <laughs> let's go. Let's go to the super chats. Evan, how many more Discord questions do we have left? I think like three, maybe four, maybe. Uh, okay, why don't you hit us with a Discord question, then we'll finish up with the Mario 3D All-Stars collection. All right, we had a guy who pretty much missed pretty much all of the PS3 and 360 era, so he's wondering what he should maybe go back for or play as a remaster on current or upcoming consoles, <laughs> if possible. Oh, wait, uh, hold on. Let's see, that, that that's a tricky question. Wait, wait, do you mean like, wait, go back as a remaster like that he can play on the Xbox system? I, I think he wants to play the old games on a new console. Old games on a well, new console, or he leaves it open, so maybe he's just getting access to that stuff. He said the I was only say game because, he played in that generation was Fallout 3, and that was it. Well, we fa well, we found and out that the PS3 games aren't working on the PS5, so that's... that's Damn you, hip-hop gamer! Come on! That's you're supposed to be through with that! Unless you get a PS3, of course, you can hook it up. Otherwise, I guess you're, look you're checking the backwards compatibility list on that Xbox Series X or S. But games to go back, I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 is, yes, I, I would say, I, definitely I, grab that. Right? Stop agreeing! <laughs> Keep agreeing on everything. Yes, Metal Gear Solid 4. You know what? If you like if you like pro wrestling games, um, WWE Legends of WrestleMania is criminally underrated. If you, if, okay, let me sort of date it. If you like 80s and, and early 90s wrestling, like, it, it's criminally underrated. It's such a good roster, and the gameplay is really fun because it, you know, obviously if you know anything about professional wrestling, it changes throughout the years, but it really sort of encompasses the spirit of 80s matches as opposed to just having old wrestlers in a new aesthetic. Mm, okay. And That's available oh, on 360 and oh, oh and uh and if you want RPGs, go check out Lost Odyssey. That's uh, yes. that's that is fully back compatible on the Xbox One X even right now, and it looks really good it's, on that. It's system cheap. Right now. Oh. It's cheap. It looks great. It plays great, and you don't need for this. All you need is the first one. Yep. You install it, and then bam, you're ready to go. And it is 
it is a magical and even still to this day it holds up it's a turn-based rpg but i always call it like the real final fantasy 13 <laughs> you know because like the the creator True, yeah, yeah. made it i always call it that it's so good it's old school but it's so good and the stories are fantastic uh th- i can't recommend that game enough yep, i got one other game too what's that shadow complex you can put you can oh, get the remastered I like, version i like shadow complex yeah that's that was the on... game huh yeah. Shadow yeah. Complex is, is fucking dope. It's good. Yeah. That, was, that was like the first limited run game I bought just because I liked that game so damn much. That Metroidvania 2D? Yeah, it was yeah, so they, good. It was underrated. That game, it was was underrated. That, game, that game is so underrated. It it's yeah. really good. Yeah. That's that they did they did that on I think it was Xbox Live Gold. Yeah. It yep. was like Xbox is it, wait, Live. Wait, is that on is that on Game Pass right now? Or it was on Game Pass even, I think, at one point. Uh, I think so. I think I they, positive I, it was. I think they put it on PlayStation Plus right uh, at the end of the PS3. That's it was it was it. on Game Pass, but it left in 2019. Ah, uh, yeah, it was I have it on my year. I have it on my One X. Great, great. Uh, it's game. fucking awesome. It's, it's game. not it's not expensive either. So no, it's super cheap. Yeah, very good game. Let's go to the super chats. Says so Shinru says, "Evening, everyone. Has anyone borrowed a game from a friend and forgot to return it to them, and still have it to this day?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah I, forgot. I forgot. I've got he, it. Oh. He was not here for the conversation about the N64 when no. I had to kick out my housemate. <laughs> uh, okay, what? What are you getting? The game, Max? Uh, a friend in Europe mailed me a copy of Fist of the North Star: Kin's Rage Two. Because his PS3 broke and he mailed it to me. And I'll be honest, I forgot to play it and I forgot to mail it back. I've had this game for like five and a half years. So if you see this, Ken, I'm really sorry. But hey, it looks great. Uh, Venom Snake says Nate and MVG tried to boycott Hogwarts Legacy and it has 220,000 likes and only 4,000 dislikes. Get (laughs) fucked, haters. Oh, man. Uh... (laughs) Moving right along. (laughs) <laughs> trash says just, <laughs> just wanted to say i love all y'all and thank you for giving me something to look forward to each week also please have rob on more often he's great his, his name is not trash his name was poop trash bucket <laughs> poop trash bucket i tried to keep it street. mildly youtube friendly but at this point the we're showing on it. it's over I'll, after the first ruin, two minutes i ruined that a long time ago <laughs> Uh, Capono says, please stop paying $1,200 for PlayStation 5s on eBay. I agree. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Do that. <laughs> BK says, I have a feeling Nintendo will re release 3D All Stars on Switch Pro with Galaxy 2. I think that's why it's a six month deal. New Switch in mm-hmm. March. Thoughts? I think there's going to be a new Switch first half of next year, I would say, a revision of some kind. Yep. Mm. Yeah, but the question is how much of a revision, right? Is yes. it like is it like a skew replacement like the last one was with the battery? That's, or is that's it the question. A, I don't think. No I, one I, really think knows. I think I it's going to be more. I, I don't even know if Nintendo acknowledges Galaxy Two right now. <laughs> what like, do you mean they're wetting they the on, appetite? What, did you see that like that poster they did of like the 35 years of Mario and they had all the games from the start? Mm-hmm. They didn't have Galaxy Two on there. Yeah, but it's I heard they I heard they teased it in the in All Stars though. Yeah, not sure where the hell you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever, whoever reported that doesn't know what a tease is. I mean, they use the music. They use the music. There you while go. Nintendo well, uses well, and to be Nintendo fair, music. to be fair, to be fair, that was quoting someone else's thing. Mm. I just well, that's a it. really you know, bad that's worth conclusion. nine videos. You got to make nine videos about it. There you go. That's a really right. bad conclusion. Sense. I hey, like you know. I said, I said that I thought it was just lazy. Okay, you gotta watch. Go. You gotta look beyond the you title. The video. You gotta yeah. watch the well, video. Oh, you you put a question, question, question mark in the title? Yeah, there's a question yep. mark. So it says okay. Mario Galaxy Two is go. inside of All Stars? Question mark. Therefore, the rest of the title is fine. There we go. All no, right. I didn't We're say all that. Fine. I just said it was teased. <laughs> <laughs> Which technically, uh, that's kind of a tease. You're not getting the whole bit. You're just getting the tip. <laughs> Ruben's Ruben, no message. Thanks, Ruben. Xavier says, I don't like Jim Ryan. <laughs> that's, right. just a, that's it that's the you, got, you the, do the I, I made this a tweet the, i made this a tweet but you have to give credit to doug bowser because you got jim ryan out there lying you got phil spencer out there lying doug bowser doesn't say shit you you're lucky if the man retweets something like once a month true. like who knows if the man is alive or not but like he just keeps his head down keeps oh, quiet what, it reminds me, what is that old famous saying? It says, Beyonce ain't out there reading YouTube comments. And I've always liked that. I'm like, if you're doing your job well, you're not online. So it's, yeah. 
Doug Bowser ain't tweeting. Cedric, Cedric says, what do y'all think is the main reason that Sega hasn't done anything with... <laughs> it's Sega! I don't even know how this statement is going to end, but it's Sega, that's why. SOA in 20 years? SOA think... Street? Uh... Street Gods of Arcadia. Yeah, yeah. Arcadia. Oh. Yeah. Like so, I was like, oh, it's Arcadia. It's because it's Sega. You, Perfect. You call yourself Dreamcast guy and couldn't figure that out. That's a weird I, acronym I though, know. because I've never. Yeah. Because most acronyms are people. It's a popular thing, you know. Like I've never heard anyone refer to that yeah. as SOA. Well, yeah. it yeah. could be a, Sega. Uh, I read it. I read it almost as Sega of America, and I was like, what? That's what, what, what I thought. Say it? Sega of America. Weird. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you guys even yeah. play video games? Yeah, I know, right? I'm, I'm a fake really. gamer. Yeah, somebody yes. in my comment section claimed I was a fake gamer boy. It's like, bro, I got 2,000 physical games. If this is an act, it's well-funded. I just buy them and they look cool. Games. I just buy them. Cool. They look cool. I buy, buy them by the foot. Like, not for the internet clout. I, I just want people to I like do me. Know. I know a guy, and I, I have never games. filmed any videos, so I know a guy here in Texas who's friends with the Game Chasers. They know who he is, too, who has about $70,000 in games. He has every oh single goodness. console ever made, and wow. every every release of it complete in box, and he has a whole museum built in his house. There's like a whole area of Sega Saturn stuff, and he's yeah. never played a single one. He's just a, <laughs> he's, he is a banker who enjoys collecting games. Yeah. He has never played a single one. Okay. So there weird. Wow. It's so Isaac bizarre. Isaac says RGT more like RG Cutie. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Humdrum Stop says <laughs> Sean. Thoughts, thoughts on Jim Ryan's <laughs> comment on Series S and backwards compatibility. I like backwards compatibility, so it's a shame they didn't do it for the PlayStation 5. But I think the Series S is I think it's a good in a good spot in the market. I apparently they pursue they thought about that with the PlayStation 5, but just decided not to. Uh, so I, I think I think it'll actually work out for Microsoft to have the Series S at launch. Green Kid says Phil Spencer over Jim Ryan. What's your take on that, Sean? As of today, I, I will say, OK, you know, you might you might disagree with with what uh, Microsoft has been preaching for the upcoming console, but at least they've been consistent for the past, you know, to pretty much the whole s- system itself. Um, whereas Sony, you know, pulled the rug out from under you. Green, so then Green Kid says, I, I want to break my cash grab Nintendo Switch across Jim Ryan's lying face. You, then play oh. some Xbox Series X and wait till the cops arrest me. My gosh. I like this guy. Wow, this, okay. is the, this, is, this is my kind of people. All right. <laughs> and we get smacked with a Switch. Like, <laughs> oh, God. Then Tesla Volta Game says, Hot Take Mario 64 is not a great game. It has not aged well. Levels are weak and the controls are cumbersome. It gets a pass because it was first. All right. So with that, how about we go into the Mario 3D All-Stars collection? Uh, a lot of us played it. I'm trying to think. Did everyone play it? I didn't get to. My copy got here late. Thanks. Okay. Yeah, mine is still has is not that. a physical. Mine arrived yeah. today through Amazon. They didn't get it to me on release day, unfortunately. Yeah. I'm jealous. Yeah. Yeah. So she I don't want it digitally too, just like I did. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I was like, you know, <laughs> well, I'm leaving the physical one sealed. I'll just leave yeah, it sealed. Same. So, like, well, yeah, not, I right? thought about doing the same because I was hoping to get mine last night and be able to play it before today. But it's like I just, I personally don't want to own two copies of the game. I just want the mm-hmm. one I'm going to play. And you know, it's yeah. Amazon, so they charged me for it on Thursday. Like that's my copy. Yep. Yep. So yeah. unfortunately, gotcha. yeah. So. I got yeah, I'm behind, yeah. but I've played all the games 20 years ago. Does that count? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So the, the collection dropped uh, and a lot of us played it and it did some videos on it and all of that. So what's what's everyone think so far about the collection? It's all my favorite them. cash grab ever. I, I gave it an eight out of 10. I, I think the it's so good. I think Galaxy aged amazingly. I think Sunshine yes. aged surprisingly well. I think the upscaling and widescreen does a lot to make you appreciate Sunshine. And I think that what they did with 64 is kind of a shame. That game uh, could have used some stuff. Yeah, I would mm. say, yeah, that when you look at that one compared to the other two, it's pretty jarring yeah. to, to kind of go is to that Is it the lack three. of widescreen? Like, what's what do you guys I think? I would say the that's the most screen? jarring thing is the widescreen yeah. issue. That, that and it's not even full screen, actually. If you look, there's actually a tiny yeah. centimeter Hot, gap yeah. at the top and bottom. Yeah. It looks really yeah. weird. I, and I almost, I wanted to zoom in my footage. It looks so bad when I'm editing it. I wanted to crop in, but I, I had to keep it in the it original looks, It does look sure. significantly better than the, the original one, even through HDMI, like the Ultra HDMI compared to it still doesn't stand up well enough it's it, it they smoothed a lot of things out 
in the one in in All Stars 3D War. But I mean, that's, but I mean, as as MVG would say, it's that's already been done with emulation anyway. So it's right. Like, it's not that I mean, does it run though. okay though? Have you run the problems on? Oh, it, no, it ran fine. It was 30 frames. It's just the aspect no ratio. Problem. It it actually runs better. People have tested there. There were four or five places in the original version of Mario 64 where there would be minor slowdown, where there the, would be so uh, much stuff on screen, like the castle, the, sub, but, the submarine level. Yes, yeah, that's, that's notorious for sub, really dire, slowing dire. down. Yeah, die, yeah, die, and, docks, yeah, and all of that is 100% liquidy smooth now, which is interesting because it does seem Good. like maybe they did something to the emulator. And it is, I, I will say, the C buttons getting remapped to the right stick did not go over well. <laughs> it feel, it's, it's bad. Really? It's not, yeah, it feels right. weird. Be, because yeah. because mm. remember, pressing the C button click would actually it would turn you through different camera modes, and out of yeah. habit, you want to bump that and be like, oh, I just want to turn. You end up it makes like whoop, 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 and it zooms you in and out <laughs> and stuff. It's it's really clunky. It is Aww. a little weird. Right. That one. Yeah, I'm just sure because it's right there within reach versus having to reach down for it. I guess. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. it's it's interesting. Like I I'm not super. I'm not somebody who's been really mad about the lack of major changes to these games, mm -hmm. but I will say it would have been pretty cool if in Mario 64, they did something like created a more modern camera with the right analog stick. Like mm -hmm. that was a game that really introduced the world to the concept of a camera in a video game. That's why the lack of two thing was even there to like translate to the audience, the idea of a 3d camera. But obviously we've come so far since then that that sounds like something it would have been cool if they it's, went in and actually, it's also the, the shit. It's also the Shindo pack sean yep you know what that yes. means sean shindo yes pack. no so long game bowser yep it's just bye-bye oh, they throws it in. They, they got rid of, bye -bye. They got rid of the uh the backwards jump that speedrunners will do to go up steps that's yep. not in it anymore Mail day. oh they did that's why it wasn't working son of a bitch i was trying it this afternoon i'm like why can't i get this to work <laughs> fuck the super mario 3d all-stars collection i'm taking down my video i think i'm burning in hell <laughs> Yeah. Same thing. Uh, wait, wait, which, I didn't which, realize that. Which of your 20 videos you're going to take down, Sean? All of them or just the review? <laughs> None of them. Fuck that. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And I, that, actually play, I was playing through Galaxy, man. I, I still feel Galaxy. Galaxy and Galaxy 2, whenever that comes. But Galaxy on this collection to me just shines as the best game on it there. Is, it's it's, the best one on there, yeah. it's fantastic. They map the, the spin, so no more little gimmicky motion controls. You can do it if you want to. It's optional. If you want to use the Joy-Cons, you can play it like you played it back 13 years ago or whenever yeah. you played it, or you can play yeah. it with on the Switch Lite. You can use your finger to collect the star bits. Um, it's, just, it's just great. Galaxy is a, oh, it's still the a constant, great cool The great constant game. camera resetting is annoying. Oh, yeah, it pointer. like bounced sometimes. Yeah, you're yeah, right, you Jordan. You constantly hit R well, just to bring it back. Yeah, and that, that that's a product of just the Wii era because of yeah. how the Wii controller was. I mean, Twilight Princess was the same thing. You couldn't really have a traditional well, yeah, camera Well, yeah, because there's the no Wii. sensor bar, right? So, yeah. like, you, yeah, you have yeah. to basically kind of tell it to, to kind of reset. Yeah, because it gets back to the gyro. Yeah. So, yeah. like, yeah. if you play Dreams, for example, it has something exactly the same where if, if you end up over here with your it's cursor like by cursor. accident, you have to press a button for it to reset to the center mm. of the screen to recalibrate. Yeah, I, so I, I've been playing it mostly Switch Lite, but I did play it a little bit to capture some footage and, uh, on the... On the uh, console all right so i docked i never got to play galaxy so i'm very excited to finally get to play it it's good it's very good Yo, should it'll i just good. play it with buttons or i never got to so, yeah. just use, <laughs> click just use a pro controller yeah use a pro controller, yeah. a pro controller. You, you'll, you'll, yeah. you'll really enjoy it the only thing is, click that that's a little bit weird. Is there's some stuff that they could not change. There's these little tiny like collectibles is... on the screen that are called star shards, and you used yeah. to aim your Wiimote. Now it's just part that's of the what motion I remember controls. Seeing. There's okay. that, and the other weird thing is all the menus are were based on like aiming your Wiimote and clicking. So when yeah. you want to save, you actually have to like aim your controller and be like, I want to save now. It's a little okay. bit yeah. weird. It's, it's, not, yeah, like, yeah, motion yeah, controls don't bother to, me, but if you used to gyro, you, you'll be fine. Yeah. Okay. How, yeah, yeah. How do yeah. the, the do two play Joy Cons Splatoon? work? Yeah, I do. I, I don't. I don't I think don't, anyone's. I haven't tried two Joy Cons. I, I did. It. It, it does. I'll, I'll probably stream. I'll probably stream probably it with motion. Oh, just only, it, only but. the right. The right becomes the primary. So I tried it. Uh, uh, when can I was you recording. use it as a pointer? Like, does it work that way? No, 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 no. Because the I the IR is oh. not actually picking anything up. It just sure. it's it's yeah. simulating the original interface via gyro. Because uh, and some of the games mm. require like when you do the Stingray racing, you actually have to hold. Yeah, the I was thinking of that one. Yeah. yeah, so you just yep. it, it treats your right Joy Con as a Wiimote during that. So, what oh, Nate, okay. Nate, did you get the collection? No, I didn't get it from Amazon because they delayed my copy to like October 2nd, so I canceled that <laughs> digitally. Whoa, you and, Amazon, you and Amazon have the worst luck. I 
man. You, did you ever get your Animal Crossing copy from him? No, it says it's in transit. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's been in transit since March. So. Um, I think Tom Nook stole it, bro. I think Tom yeah. Nook got that copy. Okay. You gotta do oh, something. I'm gonna get a for it, so I don't care. What do you, you think about the collection, Nate, so far? Galaxy is still the masterpiece that it was and always has been. <laughs> Undocked gameplay is a little weird using your finger to get the star bits. Yeah, because you gotta take your hand off the. Is that the only way? Yeah. Oh, it's a little weird. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little weird. Uh, Mario 64 is Mario 64. I've only played that for a few minutes mostly just been focusing on galaxy okay okay you didn't try sunshine i started sunshine just to see how much i could hate it and <laughs> i played it for about half an hour and i realized they changed the camera controls and made it worse so i said you know what sunshine oh, you're, you way. suck and i'll come back to you eventually it does uh, it, i will say it, i think it looks pretty it does look really I, good it, it looks it, like, it looks look good it looks good it's nice and clean the widescreen you can actually see shit now mm -hmm. yeah. but now they just invented another problem that wasn't an issue so and you that's can't what, even change the camera controls the, yeah that's that's a Oh, no, go ahead. That's, I said that's my biggest issue with the collection is, is uh, there's no options like at all. Yeah. Like, there's like nothing. Like it's, you, you, you oh, press it's... the minus button to go into the menu and there's well, just nothing there. Yeah. Even Galaxy, you have to use the touch screen to go through like the menus because they try to replicate the idea of using the pointer. Like, why can't I just use the analog stick? My favorite yeah. cash grab ever. <laughs> it's, it, it's the one thing I did like, though. Did you guys notice how fast it loads from the home screen? Yeah, like, yeah, it's quick. very snappy. It's in like a couple seconds. It is quick. But it I mean, we, you know, it, we we got to remember the Mario sixty four is like a tiny ROM file. The GameCube version is pretty small. I mean, none of these games are big. It gets in size. You yeah. know, it's all right. It, Debbie Downer. <laughs> Jeez. I have, I have a question. I mean, <laughs> there's nothing technically, you know, going on to make. What about those menus, fun. man? Where everything's on one thing, and you got to move it over, and then it changes the background. That's that's pretty big. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I meant that like there's no like inf you know how like usually you pick a game and there's like this logo comes up, then this logo, then this copyright information. The, like they got rid of anything like that that could be in the way, and it just immediately plays the little movie so you go right into the main menu so like that, that was a couple seconds from your home screen on the switch that's kind of cool caught me off guard yeah. a little bit how I, fast I, it was no i agree well and also it seems like it's it's hard for me to remember because i i played uh mario galaxy i played at launch it's one of the few mario games i ever bought at launch so i don't remember it super clearly but it does seem like everything has less load times if any at all it seems like everything was super it's pretty quick like yeah that. Yep. And Galaxy looks good. It almost it almost looks current gen. It's very close. Like could pass as like, oh, Nintendo just released this. So I think well, if this Galaxy was the game, like, you can go back and play, no problem now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Galaxy was the game back in the day, you know, because the Wii was standard definition and the HD thing was so new. That was a game you would show your friends who had a 360 to be like, look at how good the graphics on the Wii are. Like, I yep. promise it's really good. Like Galaxy was that showcase for that, you know. Yeah. So I can't wait mm -hmm. to see it in HD. Yep, it looks, one, it looks very, very good. One thing that the Galaxy did prove is that now I understand 100% why Galaxy 2 isn't part of this collection because Yoshi would have been impossible to control. They would have had to completely oh, rework Yoshi. You had to use his tongue with a uh, pointer, right? Isn't that what you yeah. did? Yeah, that's, that's a, a good point. point. Well, that, that was going to be my question is if they are having trouble with the motion controls and incorporating them with the Switch, what would that mean for something like Skyward Sword? Because they've mm. already basically expressed that they're not interested in making that game without motion control. Let me let me ask. Well, let's MVG do it. MVG, <laughs> they had to they had to split the game up, right? They had some like the GPU side was emulated, mm -hmm. but they had to basically port like the CPU game logic side. Would that have anything to do with all of these motion control changes and all this stuff you think that they had to do separate from just visuals, like kind of playing yeah. around with the game itself? Yeah. So I think the what they said was the game code, like the logic and everything of the game was all ported, but the GPU and the audio was all emulation. So yeah, yeah John, I think you're on to something. I think that's probably the best way for them to get control on you know, mapping the, the joy cons and, and the buttons and stuff like that. I almost wonder if they're going to do that same thing for Skyward Sword. If they do it, Th like they might, get yeah. in a Wii emulator, half Wii emulator, so. half like game logic yep. port. Ooh, I mean, that might but, be it. The biggest change, which I feel like it's kind of weird. More people aren't talking about it is the fact that you just press Y for your spin attack. Now used to, you'd have to shake the Wiimote through your spin attack. So it makes yeah. me think 
I honestly think they're probably going to do that for Skyward Sword. It's just make a, like, you can use your Joy Con if you want, or you can just have a swipe attack. Yeah. They had to change I up. Would yeah, it's a, how would you approach it's a bigger sword challenge. enemies where you have to go horizontal? You have to yeah. yeah. Two, All right. Like, X for vertical. Or, <laughs> yeah. X for vertical. Y for horizontal. You'd have I think, to I think I Ionuma, Ionuma <laughs> would have, like, I know. I'll freak out if they tried to do I that. Uh, you're, you're right, Miss Quick, but let me, let me live this dream for it. Let me pretend uh, that game won't be hot a garbage. Whole separate, a whole separate system to make it work. You'd have to create like the Metal Gear Rising yeah. type of deal. So my, my, that's, my biggest, that's exactly what I've thought of, OJ. I, or was it Revengeance or whatever that had like the... Or maybe Rising, yeah, I, mean, I don't know, just, where you had the dial, right? To choose yeah. how you slice. That's exactly mm -hmm. what I've so pictured. My, biggest, my yeah. biggest annoyance with this collection is that there is nothing else to it. Like, they, it is very bare bones. There's no... It has music. There's no vault. <laughs> there's no behind the scenes. There's no concept art. Nothing. But I it has music. Yeah. I mean, listen. I mean, I feel like five months ago, people were like, I'll lick the bomb of a shoe just to get these games playable on the Switch. And now all of a sudden it's like we have it. And people are like, okay, but where's That's everything That's kind of true. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, First and foremost, <laughs> like, like, uh, okay, Miss Click. I mean, that was me. Only, I, did, only I didn't people that. Are, Yeah, only people on your Twitter talking about licking feet and boots. <laughs> but additionally, I do, I do wish that there was something a little bit more. I, I, having played so many hours of these now and appreciating what they've done, I do just wish we had some, some extra spice on the taco. I agree. Yeah. I... I think um, if you look at something like Rare Replay, which was what thirty bucks. That's a good point. Yeah, Rare Replay. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah. Game if, you, yeah. Collection. Yeah. if you take it a look really at that and, and the way that they've presented that and what they offer, um, I feel like the All Stars Collection could have been a little more than than what they gave us. Mm. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that like free content on the side too, though. They did that with Zelda, like Breath of the Wild. They did all like the behind the scenes making of. Like those were all stuff. separate editions. Yeah, yeah, with other additional yeah. content. I, just, I feel like it could have been cool just to add into this, just yeah, as like next, like a vault seat. Like you know, the, I get you. I, I like. Well, I think it'd be cool to have like the the, music, the booklet yeah. in there. I think the booklet would have been cool. You know, just kind of like blast in the past. Put a slip cover on this thing. I, I, you, you I, know yeah, I, I, I could appreciate that. You know, I, I don't ask for much, but if the logo had been in the center of the cart, I would definitely give it an extra <laughs> point in my review. Yeah, <laughs> I think that they. Uh, I think oh, it's cool. You know, let's get the first one out of the way, and then next year when they do the Zelda collection, it'll be okay. a lot better. It, no, no. Okay, come on. If they do this with the Zelda collection, I mean, yeah, but they'll, they'll make it better because they have so much more time. It's got to be better, right? They've got the emulator now, right? So they yeah. they've got between now and then to get it ready. So come on, put the extra content in there. Put like the behind the scenes stuff in there. Put a cool slipper. Make a collector's edition alongside of Zelda the themed sweat. Not, so honestly, I'm telling you. <laughs> honestly, I'd be very surprised if they gave Zelda a better treatment than Mario because I feel like Zelda's always kind of been like the stepchild compared to Mario. You know what I mean? Mm. Like. Like, let's be honest, like, even like Super Nintendo, uh, like the Nintendo World Park, like, it's really Mario. Mario. Like, I, don't, I don't know about that because let's look at well, Zelda you can't, and what no, Breath of the Wild got. But you can't say Mario that because that, that was a launch title. You know what I mean? Like, that was a launch and that was a first time for Zelda. That was hey, like the first no, time. Wait, hold on, no, 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 no. You can even go back to the GameCube and all the cool stuff that they did with the Zelda uh, collection of games, like the, the special editions. You have like Ocarina of Time, the Master Quest. You have like the different. Well, yeah, because you had. Well, you, you, know, <laughs> there you, goes. you had all these different cool collect. Like, hold up here. You had special. You had a special, exclusive only Nintendo. What was it? Nintendo DS Zelda Anniversary oh, type I remember of that. game. Yeah. yeah, they have all was sorts there? of stuff that they've done for Zelda. There was what was there like a satellite view? Like doesn't back in doesn't want to get our. She doesn't want to get our. She doesn't get our hopes I'm not, up. Okay? Yeah, I'm not getting Zelda's my hopes up, been, dude. I'd be very. I'd be very surprised. Zelda. But yeah, dude, okay. Mario, Mario has always sold more than Zelda, though. It has Mario been a big franchise. They've done some great things for Zelda over the years. Look at the, the gold, the gold freaking Wii remote with the 25th anniversary. I got right? it. Yeah, that's that what my Wii remote yeah. is. Yeah, Skyward yeah. Sword. I mean, I don't see any golden Mario remote, you know? But they, they did do a Mario. Mar let's, let's be Golden honest. Mario? I, Golden I got Hold a on. pro controller. Golden I got okay, a golden controller. Okay, we're not talking about Golden I. Listen here, sir. <laughs> Listen, Mario's just sir, always for a sir. very long time. It's only been over the last, like, I want to say, like, four or five years that Zelda's even really had merch, like official merch out. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, I think there were a couple things back during Skyward Sword, like when the con remote control came out, like that was a huge deal and I got that ASAP. But like, there were very few things that you could get that were Zelda themed. I feel like there was a lot more Mario stuff. Sure. I think now it's nice where they can level it out. Like <laughs> now you go, to, you go to Walmart and there's like four or five Zelda themed things. I'm so saying, I'm really I glad that I, it's brought it back on the map. I bought a Majora's Mask Nintendo 3DS, which yeah. was awesome, mm -hmm. you know? So well, yeah, I, I think yeah. I think honestly they kind of needed that to do that for the 3D launches because those that's a big deal, you know. Like you're 
kind of facelifting these legendary games. So I feel well, like I, I agree. Why with not? I I think the point you were making, Spawn, was that now that the the emulator is built, the hard part is done. It is just a matter of adapting it. They could actually spend you know the next since now it's probably going to be six months till we get that. Maybe maybe in March is when they announce the Zelda collection. Uh, maybe they would have time to actually put See, some art like, in there I, or something. Yeah. I feel like the Zelda the Zelda crowd is a bit more I'd say quote unquote what, <laughs> hardcore for yes, a while. Yeah, into that. So it's they would the nature that's of the why games. I think they might do it. That's, they would that's buy one of the reasons. Yes. ridiculous two hundred dollar collectors edition. Yes, we would. Yeah. Well, yes. I was gonna we say I, I'm saying uh, <laughs> even me is I consider myself more I've beaten every Zelda game, but I consider myself more casual. Even I would bet pay eighty or a hundred dollars for something even well, if it had yeah. a little bit of extra stuff. People did. I remember like Breath of the Wild sold more copies than actual Switch systems. Yeah, I remember long. that. Yeah. So everyone yeah, was what like, a weird so time that was. Yeah, everyone was buying the like edition. Buying multiple copies yeah, of the game because there's so like many different, you know, there's so many so, different collector's editions, you know. So. Yeah, it had like 150 percent attach rate or something crazy. Yeah. It was like <laughs> just look, look, okay. I'll give them, I'll give them pass on this 3D All Star stuff if next year they give us a ridiculous Zelda's collector's edition. So here, here's the Don't thing with Mario that. though. I, I think with Mario, that. what's that name? I, I, I wouldn't anticipate a ridiculous Zelda collection. Okay, can yeah. we get one that has any type of concept art in it? <laughs> Well, we've no. had books. We've already had books and everything. Dude. We I'm gonna get something off of my shelf. Celebrate. I like that. See, Sean, Sean saying celebrate. Was it Hyrule Historia? Go buy. They're gonna say go buy Hyrule Historia and call oh, it a day. I gotta, I gotta leave the game to learn more about this. Is it, is it Destiny? <sighs> oh my gosh, she's read multiple books. My turn. My turn. Uh, <laughs> my turn. I do it's appreciate right. some good show and tell. I have at least three, and there's at least three more, right? I have this baby. Mm -hmm. I love a favorite. Hell yeah. Might I recognize from my logo? I inspired it from that. And then you have no, creating a champion. Really? Yeah, that's where my logo is inspired. Not my logo, I logo, know, like click. my concept art. <laughs> and then create a champion, which is awesome. But, and then obviously Hyrule Historia. Dude, I got three of these for the same Christmas. I had three separate friends mm. well, and just you, launched. Well, well, you have three hard friends? to find for a But while, then you have Encyclop. Oh, I have three friends. <laughs> yeah, so the only person that gives me a Christmas by, like, present is freaking John. Like, this is like, no John. Wait, let me John's ask the you. only person. That's well, let me true. ask you this. A lot of That's people, true. if they're selling all that extra merch, right? A lot of people will buy these collections at times. Maybe if they're a little <gasps> younger or they or they weren't really into the series. Wouldn't it be smart if it's their first time in to show them some behind the scenes stuff, to show them some lore about Look. the game outside of the game, to get them into buying stuff like that outside of it? To make you it actually get the photo with it. They so the babies. I, I guess the question now is is what games are going to get? Do you think we'll get more than three, or do you think it'll be three no. again? Do you think it's going to be Wind Waker, Skyward Sword, and Twilight Princess? I'll probably give us the original oh. two NES games or something like that on there just to do it, and then they already exist. They already the yeah. NES. Yeah, they'll put it on a card. That NES online is uh. You're already paying for them. Yeah, but their I mean, subscription. You'll get Twilight Princess Wind Waker. You'll get them physical. Wii U, and then you'll get a reworked Skyward Sword HD with reworked controls. Oh, and then you'll get Breath of the Wild 2 in 2020. No, Skyward Sword will probably be a standalone release. The other two will be a dual pack. And then you'll end the year at Breath of the Wild 2. No yeah, Ocarina? I think they could do an Ocarina Majora dual pack. That could be cool. They don't need Majora, but Ocarina. It, they're never, oh, they're never going to bring. Majora's so Mask is the most forgotten Zelda of all time, but I love the idea of it. Wait, Great game. Such a huge cult following. Are you kidding me? Cult, cult Everybody's following. like, if you don't like Majora's cult, Mask, I'll slit your cult throat. Cult following by definition means small oh, cult. but dedicated fan only, base. So you think Ocarina? Okay. Make, sure you guys, make sure you get it. Make sure you get it good. Only, the only What's dual pack that matters is um, Phantom Hourglass and Spirit <laughs> oh, Tracks. Spirit <laughs> Tracks. Yeah, I'm no, on the microphone. Right. No. <laughs> I will unironically. Oh, I love Phantom Hourglass. I will unironically oh, defend. Same it. here. Thank, Thank you. It's a good game, man. It's it gets my a lot favorite of crap. Zelda it's game. It's a good game. So okay, you think I, I want to go that far? No. You think Ocarina, Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, and One Pack Nate? That sound right? No. Do that. No. <laughs> I think there's going to be Volume One, Volume Two. The first volume is going to be Ocarina yeah. and Majora's Mask. Ocarina. And then the second one will be I don't know. In Australia, maybe, they're going to put an extra R in that word. Arc Arena is going to be the coolest. That's how you say it. Can you wash your hands? I like the idea of bringing like the Satella view Zelda over for the online. That would be cool. The CDI Do you guys think Zelda? No, the, the Satella. I can't even get Solange Bowser in my Mario 64. I'm not, I'm not going to hold my breath for that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a Zelda they never brought <laughs> out. Zelda view one. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I think Miss yeah. Quick died. Uh, I heard my Okay, let's go to <laughs> Evan. We got we got Discord we questions over there, and then we'll finish up with the super chats and stream labs before we finish out. Uh, kind of a pot. Well, I mean, we're already talking about how Nintendo's not going to really 
want to do that. But uh, do you think Nintendo would ever consider making a full 2D Mario game that goes between all the different 2D Mario iterations and attaches a Mario Maker style create a level add on? No, because that just, would... we literally just sat here and talked about how they're probably not going to give anything good for us. No, that would be that would be too amazing and really really cool. So that's yeah. not happening. <laughs> no, it sounds like there's just too much value there for them to do that. <laughs> So, what was the other Discord question, Evan? Past that, we just have a guy who's confused in terms of what the full pricing comparison is between the Xbox All Access pricing and the standard stuff. I think someone answered it for him, though, because I think it comes out to, like, only $20 more or something. Wait, are you talking about, like, for Xbox Series X? The Series versus... S. Like, let, let, say the Series, the Series S. The price of if you bought, I think it's, what, two years of uh, Game, Game Pass, Pass as Ultimate. well as the system versus like doing it through all access like the price difference it's 60 dollars difference you actually pay more to not do all access you'll pay less doing all access and paying 25 dollars a month yeah yep the idea is that they lock you in though for 24 months then so that's their plan is to get you on board and you're in for two years no matter what like you're not going to sell that system and get rid of it then so and it's all digital so to them you're going on their shop or you're going to game pass to get the games so that it's worth it to them to lose 60 bucks on it for that yes okay is that all the discord questions that covers everything yep okay let's go over super chat patrick says final fantasy 16 has me hyped first time since final fantasy 10 wow go yoshi p wait that's the first time since 10 you might want to check out check out 12 well i i've heard a lot of people say it because they they want the the arts a big thing and i know a lot of people were turned off by the the art of 12 how everybody's wearing a fucking sports bra and stuff at least now this time you know people got cool face tattoos but but wait a minute but what about final fantasy 15 he should have definitely been looking at that game if he thinks Uh, this game looks cool 15 played a little funny i i would say compared to all the other i don't know the final fantasy 15 is i can see why people look at that and go this is kind of weird wait well what about sports bras I, I was gonna say the sports bras everyone's wearing in Final Fantasy XII, like Vaughn's like, "Hey guys, time to time to save the world. How's it going?" You know, they all wear like halter. They you all wear like halter click in twelve. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Whereas, you know, I, I like fifteen. Final the main Fantasy complaint I hear about series. fifteen is fifteen's too easy. I hear a lot of people say that fifteen's the uh, 12, easiest. Twelve Final is good though. If you get past the appearance of some of the characters, what they're wearing, twelve is very very good. <laughs> if you go the close. <laughs> Sean, Sean uh, no messages. Thanks, Sean. Cetris says, "Do you You're think?" Welcome. Digital store monopolies on consoles will push people to shop around on, oh, on PC, GOG, what Steam, monopoly? Epic Store, etc. MVG is God, despite his LFC t-shirts. Hey, Liverpool, Premier League, let's go. They're going to win again. Do you think digital store monopolies on consoles will push people to shop around on PC? So like basically, God, the Epic store, basically, so will you move over to PC, basically? Yeah, baby. I, I think so honestly yeah because you're gonna get you're gonna get the same if you if you have digital only you're going to have you know these companies aren't gonna necessarily change or lower their prices or anything like that so pc is gonna look like a much more attractive option now granted that's a you will cross that bridge when we get there situation but i mean at some point in time we i guess we are gonna get there he's not he's not wrong i don't think he's wrong definitely i think more and more people if you're gonna make your box like a pc more and more people are just gonna go to the best place to play that type yeah. of thing with the best prices and steam is a better storefront steam is better on all accounts from everybody that uses steam and console it's just pcs are just yeah. more complicated but steam is much faster and better and easier and has way more options yeah, so i think eventually there's, there's we'll actually get there. and there is a steam os right and it's based through linux and you just just have steam like you can build a computer with just steam on it and just play games that way the big they got the big picture mode thingy so you can even simulate yeah. uh, uh console you know, yep console and everything taker taker says will final Fantasy 7 remake part 2 be a ps5 exclusive or ps4 slash ps5 <laughs> i feel like i feel like it might be on ps4 too I, yeah i mean three yeah. to four years the yep. the rumor that's going around is that square enix is not pleased actually with the sales of final fantasy 7 remake they thought that it would be yep. like one of the biggest selling games of the year and it's 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 yep. selling good for a final fantasy but it's not exploding the world so i think they're gonna try and put it on ps4 just because yeah, they need those sales you're, you're you're right about that because if you look at it i think they thought it was going to be like 10 million units yep. within like yep. this that's the number this i heard year, yeah. like no problem but they're like at five million around that so I think they're a little mm-hmm. upset because they, they, they didn't say it's outright, oh my gosh, amazing. You know, so I don't know what's going on there. Like, I, I think we all felt that it was a lot better than we actually mm-hmm. 
doing at this point. So I don't know what's going on, but people just aren't buying it. Maybe because The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima. I think that's really what happened, that those two games kind of came in and took some of those residual sales that you normally get with the Final Fantasy. Uh, so I think that was the problem. Sebast says, what you think about PS5 dimensions and leaked images? Ones that were shown, uh, they, I think they came from the FCC when they were going through certification. It is, it's, it's, almost, it's, almost 10, it's almost 10 pounds. It's a big boy. It's like 9.9 pounds or something like that. Mm-hmm. It's, it's bigger it's, than a newborn. It's bigger than a newborn, man. It's, I'm it's you. actually a good bit larger than the PS3 60 gigabyte when that first came out, mm-hmm. which is hilarious because that console was big and that heavy. That was huge. My, yeah. my hope, and you guys who know this stuff way better than me could even tell me if this is possible, but my hope would be if it's so big, does that mean that it's easier to keep the thing cooler and to run more efficiently? Or I, I actually think I, I looked at some of the images and I have a video for it tomorrow, but I looked at some of the images. I, I think they have a pretty cool idea of how to how to cool it. I, I think they have kind of vents on cool every idea. side. Yeah, I, I think there's a, well, I think there's a really big I think I think they're actually going with a very large fan inside. And it, if, when you're looking at the front, it's actually sideways. So you're looking at like the side of the fan. I, 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 I been any was reports, interested too, yeah. Has there been any reports you guys have heard about if it's supposed to run quieter? Or yeah, is there no new yeah, if, 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 if you have a bigger quiet. fan, you can run it at a lower RPM to achieve the same the, amount of cooling. Cool. What, yeah. one, one of the leaks, the official quote was whisper quiet. But uh, I think there was also the dev build. The fuck? I, think your, I think your room's falling apart there, miss. <laughs> is that someone's okay. pet? Uh, and uh, NCR says, I asked Insomniac Games on Twitter about a possible physical release of the Spider Man remaster of PS5. They said they aren't planning it, sadly. Oh, a physical release of it. Yeah, it's just going to probably be a voucher that comes with the Miles, Miles Morales. Morales. Yeah, yeah. Good old vouchers. Soplock says, I pre ordered the PS5, but with the Switch Pro rumors and Hyrule Warriors and the other games coming, I think I will be busy enough. And also, I have a PC. J- uh, go. Lopez says, will people buy Switch for, oh, wait, will people buy Switch for $70 to $100 games? Yeah, when's Nintendo going to jump to 70 Is that is that I next really gen? I'm surprised they, they didn't with this they're Mario going, they're go, Oh, no, they're going to. They're de- there's no way they let Sony go, oh, yeah, our games are more premium than Nintendo's. Nintendo's well, going We'll show you. But, We're raising it $10, too. <laughs> I mean, but they, but they didn't raise it back in the Wii era, and they, and, they you know. That's so. what I was going to say. Yeah, I mean, w- they were willing to wait a whole extra generation. Sony and Microsoft are like, okay, we're going to 60 bucks now. And Nintendo's, granted, you know, you could argue they maybe had more of a reason to because they stayed standard definition where yeah, Sony yeah. and Microsoft jumped. So maybe they knew it would be a harder sell. And they mm-hmm. probably, I hope no one watches this from Nintendo, but they could probably get away with $70 next time. But there is a chance they don't, you know? Well, the, so, the, it reminds me. I, like, I feel like they're going as soon as they can. Like, they can't do it this gen. I think they'll do maybe. it next year. There was there was that weird like market research thing that came out one point that showed that p- people, if they're offered a forty dollar game or a sixty dollar game, will buy the sixty dollar game because they believe it is more valuable. I think that at some point Nintendo's going to realize we can sell a game for seventy dollars and it will actually sell more copies. I think that's the line that Sony put though is that the, their games are more premium or something yeah. because of that. It's well, like yeah, I don't, I'm that's not, not going to sit well with Nintendo. <laughs> That's like a marketing 101 I'm tactic. That's there. a premium product. Well, let, let, companies let's like, see if that let's I'm, see if that works though. Yeah, first let's see if that works. And if I'm Nintendo, I can say I'll check. You're more premium okay, the than PS5 sold like, out. your your God of War <laughs> sold 15 million. Our Mario Kart sold 30 million. So who's more premium? Us oh, who can sell cost. 30 million copies at full price, or you who sells 15 million and has steep discounts. But but you do realize that because they've set the market at $70, they'll also gain royalties from every other $70 game sold on their system. And that is a lot. Yeah, it's true. Oh, it's true. That is. <laughs> but they're also it is, but it still comes down to the market responding to the price well. Exactly. Microsoft could still come out and say, we're still charging $60 for first party games. Now, Sony looks like pricks. Microsoft can say, we're not raising prices. We can't control third party software. That's up to them. I mean, let's be honest. Is it, am I the only one who feels like if Nintendo raised their prices, everybody would get more upset than they are with Sony? No, I feel like people would be more upset at Nintendo than they would with Sony. No, I, I think N- people, Nintendo people would defenders upset. would be out there be like, yeah. up. No, I played 700 hours out. of Breath of the Wild. Yeah, nobody can, nobody's upset that a Nintendo game could come out three years ago and still be full price right now. I yeah, think if no it's like, cares. yeah. No, I think That's if it's like Yoshi's Crafted World is $70, people would be like, all right, hold on a people, minute. People, people right, do complain about that. 
People but do people complain about still... how Nintendo games don't get discounts. You know, yeah, but it's, that, a, yeah, it's such a that, minor that's voice. brought up. Yeah, but it's, it yeah. is a smart. I try to yeah. complain about oh, games like New Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe, and people are like, "No, it's worth it." And I'm like, oh, I mean, do you I, hold on? Do you think that <laughs> might be a do you might do you think that might be a reason why they don't necessarily always make the jump mid generation though? Is because their games don't go on sale? Mm, why they the jump a... as in what like we talk about like back in we are right like they didn't start raising their games to 60 until wii u so, i think, think it's because, because it their games HD. never depreciate think... it wasn't hd yeah, yeah. Rob, so, i mean it, mm, it wasn't hd i think okay. that it depends on how much tech they use i mean if the games their next generation games if they go up to 4k and all that and it warrants it okay but if it doesn't right. warrant it then i think people are going to react a little bit differently i like i said we don't know how this is going to react right now with this 70 dollars stuff i don't i personally don't think people are going to be rushing out to buy 70 dollars games right now at this point yes, i don't think I'd the market's going to react to that way like i think right. it's going to take a while or you're gonna, it's going to take a god of war or it's going to take like mm -hmm. horizon but even then sometimes people don't rush out and buy the games even when they were 60 people didn't yeah. rush mm -hmm. they, they wait for even on sony's first party game so this is going to be a tough sale and the ps5 is more expensive or just overall there's it's going right. to cost you more so i mean it's going to be tough for them to actually sell that and that i think that's also another reason why all the games are this for as well because like they know that they might have some problems maybe selling as much as they want to with ps5 so Mm. Yeah, I think it's I think it's worth noting. It's a good point because at this point we just have to see how the market overall does react. If if it totally bombs, I mean, what happens if a year from now Sony is like, man, this seventy dollar game thing ain't working, and they totally stop it, which is probably not going to happen. But let's pretend it was so bad they did. Mm -hmm. That could help dictate what Nintendo would do when they make their next console jump, and if they would be considering seventy dollars. If Sony fails, maybe they don't do it. If they succeed, mm. then maybe they obviously would. So, you know, it, so can, I, can I ask a dumb question? So has it confirmed that only only PS5 games for seventy dollars are Xbox Series X games third, still sixty? Third party are still like I think what NBA yes. is going to be NBA yeah, NBA is seventy on any yeah. across yeah. the board. Yeah. Yep. Okay, but so everything made by Sony is seventy dollars, and they're the only ones doing this. Seventy well, or fifty. Better. Seventy or fifty. Yeah. Well, it, it, oh. it's based on I, I I put out a really weird I guess really weird video where I talked about the new pricing model for them, and mm -hmm. it seems like what they're doing is that they're doing expansion. Like if it's a bigger expansion, it's going to be fifty. If it's a budget title, which would usually be like let's say fifty, that's going to be sixty. That's the the new stand, like Little Big Planet, right? Like the mm -hmm. Zack Boy's Adventure. That's sixty dollars now. It's Oof. like budget title, and then now the new big games are seventy. So that's how I think the pricing model works: expansion fifty, budget title ish, uh, or smaller title sixty, or sorry, fifty, sixty, and then seventy for you the know, major big titles. That's a very weird future to consider because we're right now, you know, we're so used to for decades, at least since like the sixty four era, where games are just like standard price. Like it's the MSRP, it's the suggested price. That's what you buy games for. If Sony comes out and maybe convinces the other guys to start having this kind of fluid pricing structure where they get to determine this is the game we think worth X dollars, but this is the game that's worth even more X dollars. I mean, that's a pretty slippery slope of a future. I, I don't really know if that could become a good or bad thing, but it sounds kind of risky to me. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. I remember I remember we had this conversation a long, long time ago when they started <laughs> charging for online. And people were wondering how everything would react to that. And now we all pay for online on consoles. Yeah. So, Everyone uh, complained. We all complained even, at first, but pay for Nintendo online. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I, yeah. I feel like this stuff is it's to target casual gamers. Think about the fact that there's the studies that say that most people buy four games a year. They're just trying yeah. to get an extra. They're trying to get an extra forty dollars out of the average gamer. They already buy the hundred dollar Call of Duty version. Well, yeah, and that's the thing is that it's definitely Call of Duty people of like, oh, uh, our profits right. are up even more. <laughs> all right, let's 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 see. Yeah, let's, let's, we'll see. We'll see how things go with the, the releases this holiday. And then Taker says predictions on the Nintendo twenty sixth update is about. That's crazy, man. What? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you go. You get your face ready. You're like, all right, that's no, good news. <laughs> What's Nintendo's twenty sixth update? The twenty sixth. Oh, the, for the uh, high, yeah, high oh, yeah. Tokyo games. Game Show. Well, it's yeah. Tokyo Game Show. They're just going to show off like, like, like yeah. fifty yeah. minutes of gameplay yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah. They do it. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Absolutely. Paul says, "Can I can I share this video with you on YouTube? No. My Super Mario Pool is complete. Mario Pool Mosaic and Superstar Pool Mosaic by Paul Gale Network." 
There we go. Matthew says, got my GC loader installed this weekend and I'm going to be playing Sunshine for the first time. Ice says, PS3 sell and its problems mess Sony up so bad they don't want to acknowledge Ken Kutaragi's legacy. That's why there's no backwards compatibility. I think the cell certainly has something to do with them. Not the cell has more it. to do. Yeah, I think the yeah. cell has more to do with it than any. Because PS3 does have some games time. that they can charge for, you know. Oh yeah, <laughs> they do. Yeah, definitely does. They've got some good games that they could charge for, you know. But uh, then we have John. No message. Giz- GizmoGames.tv. No message. Soplock says, "Did you guys notice that Game Pass went up in price? Like three months is forty-five, and twelve is one hundred and twenty. Sure did." Yep, that's why they want you, they want you to go for Game Pass Ultimate. That's why, which is fifteen dollars a month. I told you Game Pass with that seventy dollar pricing price increase seventy dollars. Game Pass is going to go up in price too. I bet. I bet you they they look at that. Mike F says, "Should I buy Nino Cooney for fifteen on the eShop right now?" Hell yes. Yep. Yeah, I would say so. I think it's worth I thought, fifteen. I think I, I paid full price, and now I wish uh, wish I bought it on sale. That's a crazy deal. Shinru says, is it worth buying a PS4 Pro now? Best buy price. No, best price. No, I wouldn't buy it now because they still charge 400 MSRP for that thing. I was going to ask how much they even are. Yeah. There's no, no, it's, it's still too expensive. Bucks. Save it. In, in two months, the PS5's out. Yeah. Dr. Claw says, I just wanted to shout out how fire Jordan's hair is today. It does look good, hair. buddy. Poggies. Looks good. It. Cute poggies. Sir Crypto says, man, RGT, if. I was. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good comment. Yeah. About that. <laughs> All right, make her a fan, dude. In the, you got a fan in the chat. Thank you. Vanessa says. Vanessa says over under on Microsoft having X Cloud streaming playing on Series S eventually to push it. Uh, it'll push its viability further down the road. Has anyone talked about this? On the Series I S. I think it would make a lot of sense to get X Cloud onto the Xbox One S or the One X because then it becomes a streaming box. Even Nate's base, uh, VCR would probably be able to do it fine. Uh, let's go to... Let's let's finish up with some of the outros here as I finish with some of these Super Chats and then Streamlabs. Uh, let's go to Rob, who joined us tonight, our guest. Thanks for joining us. Yes. You want to let everyone know where they can yeah. find you? Yeah, uh, so it's Rule of Two Review, Rule of the Number Two Review on Twitter and on YouTube for sure. So thank you so much again for the invite. Thanks for having me back. I definitely missed uh, being on the podcast. Lots to talk about. So hopefully I get my Mario 3D All-Stars before the end of time. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully it shows up tomorrow or something. Sometimes Amazon. It's on Amazon, right? On Sunday, yeah, it was Amazon. I mean, I've had Amazon show up here in the Amazon van to drop it, a package off at one point. Wow. So I'm yeah, I've been getting that lately, lately too. Yeah, I'm huh. hoping they, they I mean, drop I, it off to you, man. I got a I'm distribution ready. center ready. that's really close, so I get all my crap like <laughs> honestly and dudes so why, i mean i'm in washington state so it's the same thing i never have problems this is like the second time ever i've had a problem and i'm like i, I need this game so unfortunately liam says i was wondering if before you guys close out the stream if we could have a minute of silence for the 3ds maybe share favorite memories slash games oh, yeah, the 3ds is basically discontinued quietly discontinued i would say fire emblem it was the re- that's what 3ds reminds me of the rebirth and the fact that the series didn't die if it wasn't for the 3ds and awakening the series would have been dead so that's that's what i remember the most about the 3ds was fire emblem stayed alive and it's not like golden sun or like f-zero or like some of the other franchises nintendo has dead. i would buy a 3d land going with a link between worlds everyone needs to go play it Samus returns for me. And also, you could argue that the 3DS kind of helped keep Nintendo alive, if you think about it. Yeah, during yeah, the early yeah. days. Mm-hmm. So a very important console in Nintendo's history for that reason. Rusty's so. real deal baseball. <laughs> <laughs> that game was lit, though. It was kind of lit. <laughs> Blushing says, is surprise announcements better or or date setups? Which bots can be prepared just like the rtx 3080 a little bit worried for xbox pre-orders yeah the xbox pre-order situation to be interesting when that goes live but i don't know i mean they're still on ebay so people still manage to grab them to resell them but i guess I mean, bots can queue up because that one bot bounce alerts it sends out apparently alerts to members that they have because it's like it's only so many people can join and what happens is they target certain launches and they'll let everyone notice that they're bots at that time at these websites so they all kind of spread out and that's why mvg apparently this bot in particular is what got that rtx 3080 out, out from under us when we yeah. were trying because i i never, never saw start. that thing i never, never saw the go pre-order i was there i was ready and it went yep. immediately out of stock 
Yep, same. I was like, did did it even happen? Did I get the time wrong? And, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then I realized it was all over. It was just going. It was just over. Uh, uh, Jack says Nintendo's stepchild is definitely Metroid more so than Zelda. As much as that hurts to say. Spot on. It changes, but hey, maybe yeah. they can prove us all wrong with Metroid Prime Four because they they could have just canceled it. It's a turning point. I'm predicting it now. That is a turning point for the franchise. Just you wait. Yeah, I hope so, Rob. I hope so. Yeah, I think it's going to be. Strawman says, I think it'd be cool if Skyward Sword HD released on Switch for Zelda 35th anniversary since it released on Wii for the Zelda 25th anniversary. Uh, Miss Click, mm-hmm. you want to let everyone know where they can find you? Yeah, thanks for having me. You guys can find me here on YouTube as Miss Click Gaming, or you can find me on Twitch as Miss Click underscore live. We're live pretty much. Uh, every day on i'll be back on monday we'll be starting uh with the mario 3d collection very excited i get to play uh mario sunshine for the first time in a long 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 time i was gonna say are you jump which one are you jumping in the first sunshine? i'm gonna go to, i'm gonna go to sunshine yeah yeah and then i'll play galaxy okay so, 64 cool. is great but i've probably played the most that yeah. the most out of all of them yeah so. that makes sense yeah uh Venicera says talking like zelda is a redheaded stepchild of nintendo looks at metroid and f-zero prize <laughs> yeah f-zero is like f-zero is like lost in time now Mm, those are like the yeah. cousins you don't see for like years at a time. You know what I mean? You are right. <laughs> or, or, or decades. Or decades. <laughs> yeah. You like, the next time you see him, it's past puberty and you don't even recognize him. Yeah. Serious. Joel, Joel says, when Waker and Twilight Princess work is done in a dual pack. Mm-hmm. Arcade says, are you, uh, you guys are fighting over how bad Nintendo treats Zelda and Mario anniversary collections. And I'm here crying over Metroid. A lot of Metroid. Metroid, Listen, man, I'm crying over Metroid too. But again, we see those <laughs> I once was every born blizzard. crying over Metroid. <laughs> word yeah, here's, here's hoping that Metroid Prime Force, that's the new bar for, for oh. Switch. So we'll see. I Anybody want to play Golden Sun? Juice Man Vaughn. Oh, I really, now I really hope that there's a Switch revision next year ahead of Metroid Prime 4. Yes. Be cool. There's a lot of talk about that. I think it's possible. Juice Man Vaughn says, I think Metroid is the stepchild to Nintendo. Do you guys think Nintendo will do anything when Metroid turns 35? I, I'm sure they'll tweet about it, and that'll be it. <laughs> Special amiibo. That'll be that. <laughs> Samus uh, amiibo. It'll be cool as if they, if they added Game Boy to the Nintendo online service Oof. next year instead of... Okay, so mm-hmm. they do that instead 64? of the N64, and part of that Game Boy MVG is Game Boy Advance, like you mentioned before, and Metroid Fusion drops. Boom, right away. That's their anniversary. And zero mission. Oh, love that. There you go. Zero they just mission. dropped Metroid all over the Switch there. There it's we possible. go. possible. I would love and that. And they put a trailer out for Metroid Prime 4, finally unveiling it all at once. That'd right be there. awesome. I'm, I'm a I figured it out. There you go, Nintendo. Massive Game Boy Advance fan. I would, uh, I would seriously play a premium price for that. Mm-hmm. And... Uh, Volume says, if it weren't for you guys keeping me entertained, I would have quit the watermelon mission in Sunshine a while ago. <laughs> uh, Sean, where can they find you? You can find me on RGT85. I uploaded a lot of videos this past week. Insane views, insane channel growth, insane subscribers. Shout out to Mario 35th anniversary. Shout out to Mario 35th anniversary. You are the soldier boy console of 2020 for me <laughs> as far as views is concerned. So thank you. Thank you. Um, but yeah. <laughs> awesome uh abaddon i'm gonna see abaddon out uh to the stream Mommy. tonight says 70 dollar game seems hey. inevitable may not happen right away but i definitely see it happening i mean and yeah I, I think most games will eventually move to that if they see working. me playing classic games yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey hey those gamecube games you can buy in a couple 70 dollar games with how some of those are getting now <laughs> well that's different <laughs> chad chad says switch owner who missed ps5 pre-order but wants to try more games out should i wait or just get a ps4 pro and play everything i've missed over the last few years i would still wait i think there might be a chance that ps5s might even be walkins on release day i could see that yeah happening. so 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 i would that, wait at the at the very least if you are wanting to really buy something maybe get uh the ps4 ps4 slim is still like 200 dollars. so don't go for the pro yeah Paul says the Mario mosaic looks cool underwater in, in the pool. James says Earthbound is Nintendo's real stepchild. Eh, nothing wrong about that. Earthbound. M- MVG, where can they find you, man? You can find me on Twitter at Modern Vintage G, YouTube Modern Vintage Gamer. Uh, just uh, check out my usual Monday video. And uh, thanks for having me on. M- Mikey says anyone thinking about getting Super Mario Bros. 35? Yeah, I'll, I'll check it out. Oh, I, think yeah. it, I think it looks really interesting. Oh, absolutely. yeah. It's, well, it's, it's free. To the Switch Online. Yeah, you get yeah. it. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll be checking that one out. Uh, Nate, where can they find you? 
Find me on YouTube at Nate the Hate or Twitter at Nate the Hate, followed by the number two. We have a podcast up there right now talking about the Nintendo Direct and whether or not it hinted at a Switch Pro announcement timing. And we also talk about the emulator and if Nintendo could use that emulator to bring N64 or GameCube games to the eShop as a standalone release and not part of Nintendo Switch Online. MVG and Jeff Grubb are in that discussion, so you can find that on the channel right now. Or Direct Feed Games, where there is a comparison of Mario Galaxy on the Switch to the NVIDIA Shield version. Ooh, that's a cool mm-hmm. idea. Uh, I listened to that podcast. I, I think if they're going to do anything, I think Tokyo Game Show, they'll announce the, the Monster Hunter Switch Edition. It's a possibility. It's the one thing because that they did that, that. The only reason I know is because it's bored in my brain when they did it for the PS4 back in the day at Tokyo I Game Show. I remember that. At 2 a.m. And I was 2 like, oh, did it 3DS too. Weren't you Maybe waiting for like a PSP3? Hey, it's coming. That took- <laughs> PS4, PS4, no, no, PS4 Go. <laughs> it was PS4 Go. That's why we were all up till 2 a.m. like idiots. It's coming. <laughs> PS4 Go to hell. Oh, Jay. Liam says, as, as many of you are game collectors, I was wondering how all of you felt about inevitability that is digital only gaming and the fact that this might be the last gen for physical with Xbox and PlayStation. And I'll say second to last for Nintendo. I, you know what? I've thought you about know, this more and more. I, I, you know what? I think I'm okay with it because that means that there is an end point to the collecting. So then I, I know where it all ends and then I go back and I, you, you collect the rest of what's left basically. And that's still a lot. So It'll free up a lot well, of room in everyone's houses. Who is to say they still don't do stuff like special editions and whatnot? It just comes with the code. I mean, limited run could do that, but that well, really... Uh, yeah, yeah I, but I, after I, these next consoles, mm-hmm. you have to have disk drives to play physical games. Mm. So. Yeah, no, well, no, no, I no, think no. maybe those I mean, go like away. you're still getting extra things on top. Like, you're yeah, I, I, I agree with you. Like, I, I think that there's going to be there's going to be more collectibles, and and there's yeah. going to be less. It's going to be less Without about the a physical box. game. I see <laughs> yes. what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Wishbone Probably. says a few weeks ago, Sega of Japan's YouTube channel highlighted one of my comments about them making a new console. So maybe Sega of Japan has something up their sleeve for next gen. Stop. It's the Game Gear Micro. (laughs) Hey, Dreamcast Dreamcast Mini or Bust, let's go. (laughs) Ibrahim says, since Rob is here, go to his channel, then do his reaction video for the PS5 announcement event on June 12th, exactly to 4.42. John, you want to hear this? And sorry, Rob. No. What happened? I don't know, Rob. You might have to look. I don't don't know. Wait, in my video? I hope you fucked up like I always (laughs) fuck up in my video. I didn't edit out a whole... Yeah. June twelfth, exactly. I left in the sneeze one, Sean. If yeah. that helps you feel better, that may help me a little bit. It says June twelfth, exactly four forty-two. Four minutes and forty-two seconds in. That's what it says. On my PlayStation video, I'm going to yeah. look right now. Okay. All right. I watched. I watched yeah. one of your uh, Mario collection uh, videos, Sean, and you messed up at one point. You're like, these games for the Switch. These games for the Switch. <laughs> you like just yeah. stop for a second. Like you deactivate and you turn back on. I do. That's what happens. <laughs> Literally. I and people are like, oh, you're just lazy. You're lazy. It's like, no, I hate listening to my voice and I hate looking at my face. I appreciate that there are people out there that enjoy listening to my voice and looking at my face, but I fucking hate doing it thing. day in and day out, over and over and over. It's uh, driving me nuts. Can you, least, can you at least leave yourself? You used to do that on camera where you get mad at yourself kind of, but you'd look off camera and be like, and and then it's like you just come back. That was my fa- those were my favorite ones. Back, back when we had annotations, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> just, and he was like, "Hey guys, I messed up here, but don't worry about it. Just keep watching." What was the <laughs> John? What what was the date and the timestamp again? As on June that one June twelfth, four minutes forty two seconds. June 12th. Uh, Jordan, where can they find you? Man, tell them about Film Life. Where, where can they find you? That's what I was going to say. Uh, well, I have a channel called Pickle, if anyone cares. I talk about Osmosis Jones' spinoff show. Uh, if it's not, a spinoff uh, show? Yeah, it's called Ozzy and Drix. Um, it's great. Thanks, man. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we, I started up a channel called Film Wave. Um, it's kind of like a mishmash of any of us on here, just getting together and talking about stuff here and there. Uh, sometimes I'll do solo stuff if there's no one interested in certain things that I watch. Uh, but we talked about the boys, uh, season two, episodes one through five. You can find the channel right there. And uh, yeah, let us know what you want to see on the channel, what shows, movies, all that stuff you want to see us discuss. We'll be back, we'll be back next week. Talk about boys, uh, boys season two, episode six as well. Mm-hmm. It's getting, it's yes. getting kind of crazy. So we'll be back next Friday for that. Yep, absolutely. Should be a lot of fun. What about uh, what about OJ? Where can they find you, man? 
Yeah, you can find me right here on YouTube. Um, I stream daily. So for the most part, I'll stream Monday through Saturday. We always stream, answer a lot of questions, have a lot of conversations, make a lot of jokes, live stuff, all sorts of video game stuff. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, so check me out here on YouTube. Um, and also I cover Nintendo and RPG stuff, and Final Fantasy and all sorts of stuff like that. So make sure you guys check it out. Uh, this upcoming week, we've got some cool stuff that's happening um, on the channel. We're going to be having some different type of live streams. Um, so it should be fun. So make sure you guys tune in. And check out the videos as well. We do like regular news videos and all that type of stuff. So it's a lot of fun, man. So I appreciate you guys' support. And John, by the way, a lot of you guys, I, I've been getting a lot of people say, hey, man, I, RGT, I came over from RGT's channel or I came over from John's channel or Dreamcast guy, you know, I came over mm -hmm. from his channel. I see you on the Spawncast. So I want to say thank you to everybody who, uh, you know, who helps me out. So I appreciate you guys. Mm hmm okay uh we've got a <clears throat> prince of duval said i skipped all of last gen so between miles morales ultimate edition demon souls the playstation plus collection and cyberpunk a few days later i don't know where to start yeah i mean yeah, if you skipped all of last winning. gen and you get that collection right away yeah it's good that dude is winning but... like dude you you're yeah. gonna get an experience that none of us are gonna get that's awesome reese says to the game collectors on the okay how far oh how far out of your way would you go to get steel book cases or other collector's editions products for older games also sunshine sunshine only gets a six out of ten at most for not having a long jump nozzles are not replacements yeah the long you do miss the long jump when you jump around between them yeah but you have the you have the flood so yeah yeah <laughs> flood, flood does help a lot steel but yeah jordan you you hunt down steel books over there yeah games and movie steel books yes i have a huge okay. collection Wow, I right. hate steel books. I hate them. I hate you. <laughs> what? I love them. I don't like that there's no spine. I don't like that they don't put the text on the spine normally. They it do. doesn't say the console. Well, I, I like it. To, I like the console logos because I'm a fucking idiot. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mainly collect movie steel books anyway. Zach says, "Thanks for the podcast. Any opinion about the next, the new next Switch, the next Nintendo Switch? It's gonna be crazy. Hopefully, it comes out first half of next year, so we have it for Monster Hunter." And we have it for, and for uh, Metroid Metroid Prime 4. That's that's my big yeah. hope there. It's, it's, it's <laughs> yeah, confirmed like the apparently. Metroid Prime 4 is in 2021. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the Metroid would come out way later. Yeah, but as long as we have it. It would be playable on yeah. that new hardware, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That Maybe it would be optimized like day one for it then. Yeah, yeah it would probably be optimized for Switch too. Oh, I like. see, now we're talking. That's what I right. think. That's actually, yeah, I think so. Super uh, oh, this is, well, okay. Oh, okay, cool, cool. This is from Ibrahim again. Super Mario 3D All-Stars digital code for the U.S. store to give away for the chat. Here's the code. Jesus. So how, do we, how are we going to do this? Drop it in the chat and let them fucking wow. fight over let there. The let, let, them let, them, fight. Yeah, let the piranhas let the let, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, question the ready, You filthy animals. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the slop. Be ready to feed. And just drop, drop it. Chat. You're giving them too much time to get their switches ready. <laughs> I'm gonna get Drop it, it like a right now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> right, you have heard if we redeemed it. Serious. <laughs> Thanks for the copy. <laughs> uh, it's so hard to copy from like Streamlabs for this. Yeah, yeah. yeah Streamlabs is whack to copy, copy and paste from. Oh, all right. What the hell is going on? <laughs> MVG. I'm trying to copy this code. There we go. Okay. I have it. I have it. Okay. And. That's it. All right, cool. This is from Ibrahim Gunnar once again. Thanks to Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Big shout out to him. There it is. Good luck. That is the code for apparently Mario 3D All-Star. That's, that's a very generous code that's to drop crazy. in there, Ibrahim. Godspeed. Mm -hmm. It's limited edition. And apparently eight people <laughs> already got it. Nice. So, that's uh, smart, though. Reverse <laughs> psychology. There you go. NVIDIA Tegra says, hey, Spawn, when will Steam add Joy-Con support? Please be vocal about this. I want to play Halo with Joy-Con Gyro. Shamsa donated the big hundred thanks shamsa, shamsa. for that once again shamsa. we need we need to get together for that among us stream and then have shamsa roll it and check that out because that, that was a really good time i shamsa, I, I played with shamsa's today we play, i played with shamsa's uh shamsa and her nephew and her two nephews and it was so much fun yeah she was she was asking if we we're gonna do any streams i think that would be fun to do an among us stream with yeah all just to, all right shamsa you're our boss just tell us when to do it <laughs> put... we'll do that we'll do we'll do a among us stream shamsa i think that'd be a lot of fun nvidia tag road one was okay yep and then i think that is everyone there let's go to let's go to max where can they find you man youtube.com slash dreamcast guy uh absolutely insane week for growth uh multiple thousands of subscribers this week uh every ps5 video just blew up just thank you everybody 
I, I'm literally speechless. It's been crazy. I've been trying to hit 200,000 this year. I may hit 200,000 before the PS5 comes out. And I oh, appreciate nice. That. That's awesome. Woo. Then, Do you guys find that 2020 is a good year in general? Because it's been good for me. For like sub yeah. and everything? And like, yeah. what else yeah. are people doing? People have right been stuck at home. Yeah. Yeah. At home. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting yeah. how it played out. Yeah. yeah. Mikey says, anyone, anything about Mario's th- rep, 35th? Thomas says, RGT, if I didn't have a. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting a lot of love in the chat tonight. It's great. Since I, I think this is. You. I think this is just lust. Got a figure for Y'all home. simping. This is there yeah. This go. is not love. This is lust. RG. Hey, says, it's all the same to me. <laughs> Doctor sure Cole says PSA. Don't forget to pre-order Shante, A limited run. Dude, right good on that. Great so game. The Fallen. Uh, well, yeah, it's it's MVG's game. Mm-hmm. He ported it. Oh yeah. Yeah, so it's a really uh, great sure game. Out. Make sure you check that out. Yeah. If you don't get a limited run, make sure you pick it up on the on the Switch when it drops is a good game. So the Fallen says, will the PS5 come out with an external Blu-ray? Probably not because they don't want to give you that option. They just want you to buy digital. <laughs> that is Sony's strategy. Jonah says, if Sony can leak out game footage of The Last of Us 2, why weren't there any leaks for potential pre-orders before or after their showcase? I think that is, I think that's everyone there. Evan, where can they find you? Twitter, Kimmerx Project. Uh, if I'm doing anything, I post up there, usually on Twitch, same name, or you can check out my Instagram, same thing. It's all my artwork and game stuff. Okay. I think that is everyone. We are good. Everyone, thanks for joining us tonight, episode 181. Rob, thanks for joining us as our guest. Yes. Thank you. We'll be back next Saturday night, 9 p.m. Eastern time, and we'll see you guys then. Bye, friends.